hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Skill Check. Bye bye. Take care. It was a pleasure. Bye. 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 Why will we? I believe in you. <laughs> my my pet fish needs to walk. I am Droot. What? My pet fish has to go for a walk. <laughs> Hello, it's me. Hello. Uh, and for those of you with object permanence issues like I have, Drew will be back. He has not he's ceased to exist. He's forever. He's not, I promise. I got fired. <laughs> Don't touch for Does art four. like a really big hole sound effect and then like a goofy scream. <laughs> Gosh, <laughs> he's gone. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> Friends, when we last left, you had just wrapped up Dino Rodeo, which from the sidelines, I gotta say, was fantastic. But today, we're getting into it and we're getting back to our favorite place, the museum. Um, I'd like to pick up with you guys kind of just stepping through the turnstile. Um, and you guys kind of, usually when you come to the turnstile, you'll be back in the wing that you've kind of started to populate. Um, but this time, you guys kind of walk through the front door. And in the front door of the museum, there are streamers and banners. Happy birthday, it says everywhere. And under like all these signs, typically be like one person's name, everyone in the museum's name is there. Apparently it is everyone's birthday. Um, and the windswept vested curator comes and goes, oh, eh, welcome back. Eh, happy birthday and a birthday and a birthday and a birthday. birthday. How was your happy birthday? birthday. <laughs> your journey, how was it? It was okay. <laughs> I thought it was cool. I, I, had a, I had a good time. I definitely feel reborn, so it's definitely my birthday, I guess. <laughs> well, uh, your friends? And she points to the various NPCs you brought along. Fuck, yeah, we brought them with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is Izzy. Uh, and Izzy kind of waves and pulls out her headphones and says, Hey. Hey, yeah, so That's your new chef. It, does she have supreme qualifications? Yeah. Not, tell her. Tell him. Yeah, tell him. She looks a little nervous <laughs> um, and she like pulls out some like little recipe cards and it's for like the PB&J she made and like some other basic things and she has like this like one that's like circled and underlined and she holds it up and it's just macaroni and cheese. She's like, Oh yeah, I got some ideas. That's a back. I like the new goal of making the DMs talk to themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Izzy, don't be. <laughs> oh, and then Zatch comes out of a portal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the lobby door swings open. He goes, "Mac and cheese." <laughs> Audience oh, God, cheers. Please, God, <laughs> it's like a Hannah Montana. Moment. The camp, the Avengers music starts playing, and they all come <laughs> on your left. Um, <laughs> Katarina Nice kind of steps forward, goes. <clears throat> Like expectantly. This, kind is, of a, you this is my baby cakes right here. This is Catalina Nice. She's a big <laughs> scientist. <laughs> Catalina. <laughs> I have to know. Did you mean to call her Catalina? No, I meant to say Katarina. But okay, I thought you were like that. putting her down no, in this no, moment. No. All right, okay, okay. Um, she kind of walks up to you. I think you guys had like a budding thing and she goes, here's room over you. Be fine. <laughs> yeah, you damn bet it will. <laughs> I think she kind of puts her arm around you and she goes, Lead the way? No, you can buy it. It's right. <laughs> <laughs> I got business to discuss, but I do appreciate the offer. The, it's your, my birthday. <laughs> yeah, my fucking birthday is my The curator says, well, so if this is a chef, what, what, does she, what will she be doing? Yeah, she's real smart. She'll figure it out. She sh probably shouldn't go into the lobby now that I'm thinking about everything. Well, if she doesn't have a job, she is going to Her go job on. is a scientist. I don't know if we'd need one at this, but... She can write down so many fun facts about all the wor different worlds we have here. Oh, like a bit of a scribe almost. Yeah, she can scribe it up. Well, I tell you what, I'll send her over to Dee Dee and maybe Dee Dee needs some help and we can maybe keep her out of the lobby. And oh, she she's like the yeah. Wilhelm scream from like the open door. <laughs> oh, sorry. No, oh, yeah. It's, your, your girlfriend's gonna meet my mom. That's gonna be cool. <laughs> that's, that's like, yeah, Isn't that that's... your other girlfriend? No. No. <laughs> no. Okay. I'm just being nice to her. Nothing ever happened. Tim's a little bit of a player, as I'm saying. Yeah. Not really. Tim really puts like the pumpo in him pumpo. Well, is there a bit of a museum romance budding? I could die at any moment. I have to make, <laughs> <laughs> I have to make everyone go. What is the museum policy on canoodling? Let me check. And he looks over at Freddy, and Freddy goes, Yes! 
I'll fill out a form or something if we <laughs> We don't do paperwork here. No. We just, okay. I like that. We, uh, we try, but the museum spits it back out in the way. Oh, you, you must be tired. Let's get your things over. Uh, I tell you what. And he just produces like this huge sack. Just put them in here and I'll schlep them along to the quartermaster. Not going to do what I was back to do. Oh. Take it back and I'm going to put my stuff in the bag. Okay, you can get it back. I mean, you, just, you check it out in the next one. Yeah, that's fine. Was it hot dog related? No, I was going to try to get Zatchet to walk out of the lobby and kill him. <laughs> <laughs> I decided it wouldn't be nice to start the episode like that. You look very tense right now. No, I feel really good. Oh, Did, are you sure no one wanted to share the details of your adventure with, with an old man? I had to go to a hot dog warehouse by myself. Because oh. nobody would go with me. How did that turn out exactly? I don't know yet. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> ask me. Ask me in a day. <laughs> okay. Well, that's odd, but it, oh, that's a lot of hot dogs. Thank you. Yeah, no, one hundred seventy-one um, of them. Does anyone want to pull a fast one here? We all going to go along with this. I don't have anything worth sneaking, so I'll put it in. Same. Yeah, I'll put I'll mine in. Drop you? my belongings. We don't have anything worth sneaking. I don't. Yeah, no, you're right. You want to close it? And somebody has like a screenplay thing, don't they? They do have a screenplay thing. That's true. That's like he said he's <clears> putting <throat> it in. Putting it in. Yeah. Motherfucker. I, I can't use it right now. It's true. Um, it so one by one, you guys put them in. Do you go to put the screenplay in, and he goes, eh. <laughs> "Actually, this one's already in the system." Hey, what's it say about it in the system? It just says that you have it checked out, and that it doesn't need to be. It's on long-term loan. Do you know anything about this? I, um, well, no, but I have a. I need help with something later. We should. We should talk about it then. Okay. All right. <clears throat> yeah, you can tell me more about it. Anyway, it's um, everyone's birthday. Um, so I was thinking maybe we could have a birthday party, but then I realized we need cake. We have a chef now, which is great, but uh, the kitchen is not set up. So perhaps we should help her do that. Is there like the chilies nearby? <laughs> like Applebee's? Yeah, yeah can we like that. Uber eats a cake? <laughs> um, so he, <laughs> Uber eats a cake is hilarious. Uh, he goes, okay, come on, let's go. These are great ideas. And he's like writing them down. He writes Uber eats and he circles it. And then he writes <laughs> Applebee's versus chilies. And then he writes 20 for, interesting. And he's like trying to, he's writing all these ideas down. So keep spitballing. Um, but you guys get to like an empty culinary like setup place that has like all of like the various racks. They're all tied up. You know, and kind of ovens and appliances and things like that that aren't set up yet. Um, and Izzy kind of comes over to you guys and says, "Y'all, I never set up any kind of kitchen, anything like this. Y'all got any ideas on what we should be shooting for here? I can make a sandwich. I don't need cooking for that." Is there like a stove and oven in the kitchen? You can, if you can think of it, it exists here in the museum. Um, but we will be relying on you guys' input to decide how this is going to turn out. Somebody's calling my iPad. <laughs> <laughs> I think Matt means that. Yeah, sorry. Um, you should yeah. answer it. How? <laughs> answer it right now, yeah. <laughs> Just answer it. I'm curious. No, I'm so curious. <laughs> I'm not going to answer it. Um, yeah, I have no idea how to set up a kitchen. Do we just materialize whatever it is we oh. want to... If with. you need something, I can probably get um, maybe Zatchet to carry it in. Maybe he's like a mover. Yeah, he could be that, I'm sure. <laughs> well, we're going to need some springform pans to make a cake. Pans? Oh, are okay. you a chef? No, I just have made a cake or two. Okay, um, all right, write it down. I never told you. We need a T-Fowl nonstick eight-piece uh, kitchen set. <laughs> what, is, what is it? It's a, just, you'll figure, I'll write no it down for you. No Teflon. No Teflon? It's not Teflon, we're Fertile. good. Oh. It's bad for birds. Okay, okay I didn't bird. know that. Very bad. It's bad for everything, actually. Yeah. Do we need, that not me, I actually, <laughs> my magic comes from microplastics. Here's a little freebie, maybe not for a freebie. <laughs> <God damn it. laughs> <laughs> Got it. I'll be getting them everything online in the cheapest place possible. <laughs> you ever heard of Timu? No, what's that? <laughs> Check it out. Is it like a magical realm of some kind? It's magical, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Probably okay. need some cooking wine. Cooking wine is a good idea. How much? Um, Just bring a couple bottles and then I can help her measure it out. Like just the salinated cooking wine or like various wines? 
That one. Okay, I'll get on that. And it's make right it down. cases. To cases, make. right. Mm-hmm. Cases of wine. We need that. That's perfect. Okay. So I've got pans and wine. Is that what we need to do? <laughs> <laughs> That's a kitchen. Usually you need like a pot. One or pot? I could do that. Two pots. Uh, two? Three. Three. Four. Oh. Oh, we've got the budget. Um, 17 pots. 17 pots. We had one that we had back in my world. I think it was an air fryer. If we could hey. get one of those. You go what crazy. is that? How do you fry it air? Well, it uses the air. It heats it up real quick. I used to sit underneath it and just blow fire into it. And it would just go, oh, and it's convection. Oh, this seems like a war crime, but we could probably make that happen. Oh, well, you thought of it all wrong. No. It's great. I know your past. Okay. <laughs> he knows also, it better than me. Huh? A hot dog roller. Hot dog roller. Like one of those ones, like on the corner at the dome? Or like you want... Yeah, like the dome, like a 7-Eleven would have. I got it. Okay. Sorry, that. It's too bad we don't have one of those dino eggs anymore because we could have used them and oh, I eggs. No. Mm, Dutch oven. You need eggs to make a cake. Have you guys never made cakes before? I've never made anything before. We like to party where I'm from, so we make a lot of cakes. Oh, mm-hmm. that's, hard that's the party food. Is hardtack like a cake? When you say is hardtack like a cake, Freddie comes over and gives you like a, a birthday hat and a party popper. Here you go. Happy birthday. A party popper. Oh like my a, god, you're 95. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 95. <laughs> happy birthday, guys. He's aging I, so fast. It says, like, happy here. birthday, and it's, like, scientific notation. And I, and I pop the party popper. All right, it makes a... What do I... Hit the, the floor. floor. Oh, 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 that's it. <laughs> Oh, I was thinking about the party crackers. Oh, I thought I got a party oh, hat. I got no, no, so no. excited. Man, that would have been a better idea. Oh, I'm sure Drew would have thought of that. Thank you. I've turned 29X, 32X. Oh. This will go in your file. And he walks off. <laughs> Fine. I need I would... confectioner sugar. Mm-hmm. Okay, we got some sugar now, too. So sugar, wine, know. and pans and pots. Are we supposed to be collecting the ingredients for a cake or do we leave that up to Izzy and we set up the kitchen? <laughs> I mean, we can do oh, I think I can make a cake. Um, that's not that bad. It's just some eggs and some wine. That's about it. Yes, sir. Well, yeah. I'm, I'm really relying on you here. <laughs> We're going to need some flour. Yeah, Which kind of flowers? Flour. Wildflower? Um, the kind that you get from when you grind up wheat. Oh, you are. Not oh. W-E-R. She's writing it down. Yeah. Oh, you are. Oh, okay. mm-hmm. Well, this is Izzy. Mm-hmm. I can't keep up. That's, I'm stupid. <laughs> Probably some salt. Sugar. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, the heavy whipping cream for the frosting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, opium. A lot of the ones from the <laughs> have some opium. <laughs> in there. Good ass cake. I don't know. Need all the, <laughs> the, big the curator's old looking really nervous. He's like, I suppose we have anything you can dream of in the museum. It's somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> <go crazy. clears throat> okay. Well, I think I've got everything. Do we need like an oven? There's, we have a few. Yes. Yeah, okay. One oven. Good. Get bringing six. Like we just got so much room back here. I don't know why we're putting a limit on how many things. Are you about this? What if you've got hmm? an endless imagination? Can hmm? you recreate a perfect Chili's kitchen? Well, mm-hmm. you could have just started there. <laughs> I feel like set it up like a Chili's, and we've got everything we need. Wait. Yeah. Do you want the version with or without the irate customer in the back? Ooh, that's what Zatch it could be. Oh, it could be Satchet, we found yeah. him a job. I love that we're going to make a Chili's kitchen. It's just nothing but microwaves and <laughs> salamanders. <laughs> well, it, it says here deep fryers are a big deal and um, salad bins or something. A deep fried cake. Oh, oh, delicious. Let's do it. I don't believe they serve dirt at Chili's. Hugh, will this be acceptable with you? Yeah, I'll make it work. Okay. okay. He's, gonna, uh, he's gonna be testing his he's gonna be start going from station to station, timing himself to see if he can do it fast enough and stuff. He's like five seconds. Right. So like in front of you, the curator's kind of like waving uh like basically these notes and his pen around and like it's like whew, Chili's kitchen and mm-hmm. hemp's coming from behind, just like <laughs> testing everything. He's like, Oh yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh is That's he good kind of workflow? The excitement in Izzy's face. Y'all, is this like one of them real professional M kitchens? Sounds about as high end as it gets. God, I've I've dreamed of working in a place like this because it wasn't Dino Rodeo. I would do anything, including work in this amazing kitchen. Thank y'all. You're welcome. Yeah, that's fine, Izzy. You'll have a Michelin star in no time. <laughs> what is that? Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, okay. I'm gonna get started. And she's got she runs over and grabs like wine off the shelf and <laughs> eggs, and she's like, hmm. No, 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 the wine. I'll I'll be the wine part. Yeah. Bless you your just... heart. Bless your heart. Thank you. Thank she's you. She's southern. Well, yeah, of course, yeah. Everyone died on Rodeo Southern. 
Oh. That's what happened by accident. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like Lombardi had a really big influence on all of these. <laughs> I'm uh, still in a cowboy hat. <laughs> so, as you guys are kind of doing this, getting the kitchen ready and the birthday celebration, um, you all have some synergies to do. Um, have you all given some thought to who you'd like to spend some time with? Sure. Oh, I'm sensing the excitement already. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm doing hemp pumpo. Whoa. Whoa. Mm -hmm. Whoa. There. What, do you, what do you got for me? Okay. Gentlemen. Hey, him. Uh, what's up, man? <laughs> Are you starting to come around to this whole killing thing? You've been seeming a lot more morally flexible with no, a lot of the death. No, I'm just a very pliable guy off the rip. <laughs> so, I, you know, I don't like it at all. But those guys back there, they were a lot rougher than the spaceport. I would argue the spaceport guys we killed were a lot worse. Well, we didn't. I didn't kill anybody. Either. <laughs> we blew up that lady. And that was about the only thing I can think of. We did kill the Don for seemingly no reason, but he at least tried to kill us, so like, it's okay. It's not too bad. I like, I like that you've warmed up to it. I still remember when you were nauseated and shell-shocked at the first sight of death. Yeah, well, you know. It's been a minute, but I'm reacclimating to it. That's good to hear. That's it. You're going to learn to love it. I don't think I will. <laughs> is this taking place like in the kitchen while you guys are like setting up equipment and testing like he's like doing cooking and you guys are talking about the intricacies of murder yeah he's yeah. kind of like just saying this he's not thinking things through he's just working so he's just spitballing shit out as he answers uh interesting um it, excuse me gentlemen given that it's both of your birthdays have you thought of a present perhaps to exchange oh we're giving each other the present well it's everyone's birthday i've you know, okay last time we Last time we tried to not do one of these holidays is, well, there was a 2012 Mayan thing that happened. We don't do that anymore. Uh, I see. <laughs> um, the presents might be required. Okay. I'm going to be like, I, I got one special for you. I'm going to think real, do we just think of it and it like pops up? I'm going to think real hard. I'm going to be like, oh, <clears throat> here you go. Pluto Nash on Blu-ray. <laughs> Oh sure God. enough. I know that's your favorite movie. It's the only space movie I've ever seen. It's a good one, too. I remember when I was still but a young boy, orphaned, yeah. as you know, my yeah. mother mm -hmm. passed away. Yeah, that was tragic, and I still feel very bad for you. You mean most recently when you killed her, or back when she originally the passed away? The first. Uh, got it. Not the, not, not the oh, most you're a recent. double orphan now. Yeah. She liked it so much, she came back for more. <laughs> oh, my God. I used to watch this puppy in my in my room. Angry at my father for leaving. Mm -hmm. You know he left. Of course, Pluto Nash. <laughs> to a father. Pluto Nash is there for me. Do you remember that? Hip, I know you remember the scene in Pluto Nash where the spaceship bay doors open, and sucks the woman's clothes off, and she's left hanging in her bra and panties. That's a fucking crazy ass scene. I must I have watched that. that three or four thousand times. <laughs> <laughs> One sit. Yeah. I'm so glad you gifted me this, him. Yeah. I've got something just as important for you. So I start eating a really channel in my third eye, and I produce a very nice sword. Oh. And I say, this is to help you when you're, you're killing. Okay. I'm going to start doling the blade a little bit. So it's, not <laughs> like, it's a wonderful blade, though. Style Thank the you. sword for me. Is it like a two-edge, like broadsword, like a I, Spanish you know, rapier? Like very, like, it looks cruel. So it's like serrated oh. edge oh. type shit. It's like a curved blade. Like it's meant for disembowelment. Like so, in a Chris. Mm. <laughs> yeah, and it's got like just like teeth for it. Oh, yeah. yeah. Okay. Damascus steel. I knew a guy who had a sword like this back where I'm from, actually. Who was it? My moil. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh, <Lord. laughs> That's gonna be a slow burn. <laughs> Thank you for the love of lovely gift. Yeah, thank you as well, man. I'm excited to see uh, you here. Yeah. I'm actually excited He's to see what your circumcision looks like. <laughs> That's your sin of you. <laughs> For the record, he's actually crying. <laughs> <laughs> he was, he couldn't move to tears again. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. That one, I didn't like it. <laughs> it was forced in its way out. Oh, God. <laughs> wow. Well, we canonicized yet another thing that I hate. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what a beautiful scene where you guys exchanged Blade and Blu ray. Um, mm -hmm. Was there anything else you wanted to add to this touching moment? Uh. <clears throat> 
you ever need any help on how to use it, you let me know. If you ever need a father figure, I would get to. <laughs> I don't need one of those, but maybe a movie partner. Yep. I gotta see those that made or seen again. <laughs> then fucking like class pants, like oh, oh yeah. Would it be fair to say in the coming days you guys would watch the movie? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Okay, what I does think your like thirty minutes later? What does your th- like theater room of choice look like? Oh, oh, do we have to imagine it? You get it wherever it is. It's a museum. Yeah. Oh, um, it's got to be on a small like eight inch CRT TV. <laughs> For the yeah. tube TV. Tube TV. It's one of those ones they roll out at school. <laughs> yeah, <exactly. laughs> but it happens to have a Blu-ray player attached. To that one. <laughs> yeah. It's just got a PS5. Yeah. So we're watching Pluto Nash upscaled to 4K, <laughs> put back down to like 480p on a CRT. <laughs> Just like the grind. He's like right he walks into the room, the screen just dies because he's magnetized. <laughs> yeah. Leave, leave, get out of here. I think You're it's gonna warp it. You're gonna warp it. And I think him sitting on a love sack. Oh. He's sitting on like a big bean bag that he's just like reclined in almost together. Well, I'm just sitting on the floor, crisscross, like very proper. Got it. Mm-hmm. Might be able to see. Well, that's a lovely movie you guys have. Uh, I think occasionally some like movie snacks would appear by you guys. Um, but for now, a beautiful birthday gift. Mm. Uh, was there anything else to add? I'm good. I'm good. I would like to maybe see if Shark has synergies or anyone would like to do them with Shark. Who wants to do Shark? I'm, I'm actually going to walk up to Seven. Oh. Seven. Where and when? How do you see him? He's still stealth. <sighs> yeah, that's a good point. point. Oh, no. When, when do I want to talk to you, Seven? Where? When I'm not doing recon. <laughs> All right, so <laughs> Which happens to be right now. I imagine <laughs> later on, everybody's gone to sleep. We've got the kitchen set up. Cakes are being baked. Everyone's kind of dispersed a little bit. Yeah, and he's in sentry mode as he does when people sleep. And I'm in my little ducky pajamas walking around the halls because I'm, I'm hungry and I can't sleep. And I see seven. And I remember, I pull out a little keychain. I'm like, how do you... How do you feel about me being the keeper of your voices? That's fine with me. I trust you. <laughs> as much as I love Solid 7 and don't want him to go away, I really want to know what this Ask Jeeves chip does that I have. I don't know what the fuck Jeeves is, but it sounds cool. You want to find out? <laughs> sure. Also, where do I push to eject? Just in the back of my neck. Just be careful. I don't know. Good. <laughs> I'm going as fast as I can. I'm like fumbling, and I put in the ice chip chip. When he puts the chip in, he like accidentally like operation trips one of your side wires. What happens when they eat? I get to choose. Yeah, just for a moment. He's gonna correct it. I'm curious. What do you mean, like personality wise? Or they're what? gonna blur for a second. Oh like, god! I'm snip two together accidentally. Yeah, like trying to get one out, and you, you bump oh the god. wires. I think uh, Ask Jeeves and Solid Snake merges into M- Michael Kane. <laughs> I don't know what I did, but it's scary. <laughs> Ow, that really hurt. <laughs> I'm gonna. You know what? I'll leave that for you. <laughs> this is very interesting. Are you Master Wayne? <laughs> I am Master Wayne, yes. That is me. Um, do you ever get lonely? <laughs> I don't know. Do you have well, feelings? <laughs> Walking these halls, it can get lonely yeah. sometimes. I thought so. So I've been working on something for you. You know, to help you in those times of being lonely. And I pull out it's a little VCR player um, that I've kind of opened up the VCR pit for him. I'm just going to hand him. Yeah. You have a bit of banana on your face. I like pull out a little handkerchief. I wipe it off. <laughs> I appreciate that. But yeah, I made it for those nights where you get lonely. I thought you could use this. Well, thank you. I will put it to use post haste. Perfect. And I set it down next to me. All right, and I'm going to reach in the back and sadly undo those two wires. Okay. And then put in just the ass juice chip. I hope you're ready for it to get more annoying. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you, sir. (laughs) Does this mean I'm your master? I suppose it does. This is great. Just remember that nobody else can become your master because I was here first. This is your manifest destiny. Yes. As they say. Exactly. So I'm kind of like, uh, I'm in charge here. Of course. Of course. Um, 
I have nothing else I'd like to say. Do you need anything, sir? I honestly do not. <laughs> Um, I just want another friend. Nobody wanted to go to the hot dog warehouse. Companionship is my utmost quality. Okay, why don't we be best friends? Because I don't think anybody else wants to be my friend. (laughs) Highly unlikely, sir. There's nothing to dislike about you. I'm blushing. Have you prepared gifts for each other's birthday? You know... The Ask Jeeves chip was supposed to be my gift to him, but I ruined that. And what a wonderful gift it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's fair. Well, and I gave him a... a gift player. Yeah, which is supposed to be the, the robotic equivalent of a pocket pussy. Yeah. <laughs> Just that player. makes a lot more sense. Yeah. That makes a lot wait, more wait, wait. sense. Wait, I zoned out for two oh, seconds. That makes a lot more pussy. sense. Flashlight <laughs> might have been the. You missed the opportunity to say D drive, Matt. Wait, we should have said. We were talking about blue mouse. I know, I know, I know. Yeah, yeah. It's just in my head. <laughs> Sorry. So, 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 so Tracy, <laughs> take that back. I give him a flashlight. <laughs> a flashlight. Flashlight. Yeah. Yeah. I should have given him a fucking <laughs> flashlight. I am not fucking firing today. <laughs> That's the magic of editing. We can just have Jesse put the word flashlight over whatever he said before. <laughs> perfect. Okay. Perfect. The occasion of birthdays was unprecedented, so I have this for you. And I reach inside, and it's like a little twig that I like <laughs> sculpted into like a little, I don't know, like a guy. <laughs> this is back before I was solid seven. I was just whittling in my free time. The greatest thing anybody's ever given to me. And it is yours. I really appreciate that. Nobody's ever taken the time to do something like this. <laughs> I cannot stress enough that from birth I've had nobody in my life. Being from hell, that is. Yeah, everybody in... It gets a little pedantic to keep going on about, you know, the fucking bears and the bugs and all of that, but I had nobody. Your story is one that is worth telling, sir. Yeah, well, I'll tell it again then. And there were the bears. I sit down and, and cross my legs. <laughs> <laughs> there were the bears and the bugs. One of my parents was a bear and one was a bug. I can't remember canonically which was which. Did you ever say? I did. <laughs> this is way better. <laughs> But well, one was one and the other was the other. And off, out popped the bugbear, which also is not canonically what a bugbear is. It is now. Um, yes. In this in this version of the universe and museum we've set forth, you have decided that that is what happens. Yeah. So that yeah. is when you fuck up the cano- like canonical things, man. Just become your own. I always yeah. said fixed. Yeah, I, fixed. I've made it better. And neither side wanted me. So I did the only thing I could do and I practiced law. Um, and, you know, that's what made me who I am today. That's why I'm so strong, because everybody hated me. And if it got you to where you are now, then it was a path worth taking. Exactly. They used to beat the shit out of me. Okay, well, that one... (laughs) (laughs) That I wish I could take back, but that is is out of my... No, and all I'm saying is now, every time I look at this stick, I'll remember how they used to hit me with sticks, and you used it for a better purpose. Maybe you could assign it to a more positive memory. I'll work on that. (laughs) (laughs) I'll... You know, since I gave you your flashlight, not as a birthday gift, I have something for you. I'm going to lean in and I'm going to kiss him on the forehead. (laughs) You've kissed like 18 characters. It's just him. I will never wash this, sir. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, I feel like we really bonded here. That we have. Real synergy between (laughs) us. If you need anything, sir. <clears throat> Don't be afraid to let me know. I appreciate that. Right. Go back to now I'm doing this <laughs> instead of whatever the fuck I was doing before. <laughs> the Jeeves uh, watch. Um, you guys say your good nights and split apart. Will you describe your pajamas in a little more detail? Yeah, they are blue silk with little rubber duckies on them. Okay, like a onesie? No, it's a top and a bottom, okay. but I only do the bottom two buttons. So like I'm showing a lot of my chest fur. You turn around the corner and the uh, chaotic curator just kind of appears mm-hmm. wearing the exact same pajamas. You have. He goes, oh, <laughs> I'm glad I caught you. I have something for you. It's a letter from back home. Here you are. Thanks. And it, like in blood red reads subpoena. Soup. Mm. <laughs> can you not can you, can you read this? <laughs> can you not read this? Oh, I can read. What do you think it says? <laughs> It it says you're being offered a position, it's non-deniable, infinite subpoena, um, legal jargon. Am I being subpoena? It says you must accept the position of bailiff for uh, Judith. Okay. I haven't seen her in a very long time. 
Wait, it's more of an honorary thing. It says you don't actually have to go anywhere. You're just there. And you... Oh, and just get the position of being her bailiff. Well, and he holds it up, and there's a picture of like a yes box and a no box. It looks like you maybe have an option to. Which one would you say is the yes box? <laughs> <laughs> More, There's I'm, I'm going to hold up my pen and I'm just going to like hover it over one because on the left. Okay. Um, and you make the checkbox um, and it kind of burns up like a hellfire. Um, you don't feel any different, although you have accepted the title of Judge Judy's bailiff. For whatever that may mean. That is perfect. I love Judge Judy. I meant to talk about Judge Judy to seven, but... I am different. still around to conversate. <laughs> like, oh. He's just around the corner. <laughs> the, the curator's like, you need to go take some Oh, bye. And he walks off. But, so I have somebody <laughs> I follow seven called Judge Judith. Oh, she's a holy lady. She's the arbiter of all things right and wrong. Mostly wrong because we're down in hell. Um, and I love her. I have a crush on her. A oh. little. And I've always been too afraid to tell her. Have you told her your feelings yet? No, I've actually never met her. Ah. No, she won't let me. It's complicated. It is very complicated. <laughs> she tells me to kill people, I kill people. She's perfect. <laughs> she is my dream woman. You should speak to her. No, she's... I, I hear she's hefty, carries a big hammer over her shoulder. Just perfect. She's... You should speak to him. <laughs> all right, I'll do my best. I appreciate it. I just <laughs> wanted to share more with you. <laughs> I appreciate it. Thanks you. for always giving me your ear when I need of it. Of course. So I'll, you have a good night. I'm going to go to bed. And a good night to you, too. I love him. Okay. And for real this time, you guys head your separate ways. Say good night. Who is up next for Synergy? Anyone want to do one with Shark, or does anyone <clears> have ideas ready to go? I'm going to cast Augury and ask if I should talk to Shark about his life. Hmm. <laughs> You're asking your deity? <laughs> yeah. Would his deity know Judge uh, Judith? These are all fair questions. So you go ahead and you cast your augury. <clears throat> and you get a ping on your phone and it says, <laughs> It's late. Do whatever you want. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> that was a non answer. Thanks, deity. I love you. You're my favorite. So I come over to Shark and I say, you know, I really wish we could have gone to that hot dog warehouse together. You know, you had a lot of opportunities. <laughs> <laughs> I went alone with a weird crew. I was all alone. In fact, I remember you guys went through the turnstile and I let you all know I was staying and everybody went through. That's funny because I actually went through last and was just told that I was going through. <laughs> so well, I, I really wish I had been able to go with you. Okay, I appreciate yeah. that. Um, I, is there any way I can rectify that situation? There's a few. I have noticed you have a higher higher person you're talking to. Yep. No doctor. I no, I don't okay. at all. <laughs> I have one <clears throat> that I would like to talk to. I have a higher power I follow. I have no idea oh. how to talk to her. I don't know if this is going to work, but I think I could maybe hand you the phone mm -hmm. and then I cast a spell. To talk to Judge Judith? Potentially. I don't know. <laughs> just saying. It would be very interesting. Does, just out of curiosity, does your phone take pictures? My phone, side, sidebar, it's your DM. Mm -hmm. What is my phone able to communicate? <laughs> MMS? I think we had decided SMS, because you were an old, everything. old person that you could like, it was all flip phone text tech, even Thank though you. you were like in a universe yep. with far beyond that. My phone is, um, I'm older where I'm from. <laughs> so it's like a- <laughs> Where you're from? Motorola Razor. It's a Motorola, motor, it's not that it's okay. pretty good. Got it. Yeah. But so we can do like really the 240 pixel by 240 pixel pictures because that was around in 2007. Gotcha. That's good yep. to know. I appreciate that. Yep. Yeah, no, I I would love to talk to my deity because I only randomly get letters oh, from God. her. And I never actually get to talk back. Sometimes it's not the best to talk back. I'm not the hard way. And I channel my augury. 
Okay, you want to try and use Augury again to what? Open a line of communication or wanna, figure out how? I him the phone. I'm just seeing if we can contact, contact Josh Judy using my Augury. I love the phone. <laughs> For no I, reason okay. other than fun. I just call your god by accident. Interesting. I think it says, you know, like, bing. bing oh, do, do, do. shit. She screened her call. <laughs> it wasn't a call, it was a text. Bing. Do, 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 oh. do. And it says, Reading and writing are foundational ways to write letters. Your friend should try that. Wait, can you read that? Can you? It's really small and I have bad eyesight. Oh, could, you, <laughs> could you read this for me? Yeah, let me get the electron microscope. Yep. <clears throat> reading and writing? Yep, reading and writing. That's very important. Yep. It sounds like she's saying you need to be a better, better, better writer. She's a... Yeah, she doesn't sound like she likes the way you communicate that much. No, she always wants me to write her back. You should probably write her back. Do you know how to write? Son of a bitch. <laughs> how the fuck? <laughs> so not 20. I know how to write. For, to, to be clear, for basic writing comprehension. I was telling, I was going to, because I've never like made that decision yet. Got it. I know how to write. Absolutely. I'm a, I'm a wordsmith. Okay. <laughs> awesome. Just to reiterate, it's just to write in the language that you've known since birth. I know. I was trying to like assign myself like Steinbeck or Got like... It. I understand now. Yes. Okay. I would like to play a montage of him teaching me to write. Okay. Very basic work. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> so you guys spend a synergy montage. He's teaching you how to write. And what is this? A letter to Judge Judy? There it is. Is yeah. it? Give me some details. What, what do you right. write? So I've got, I'm like, I don't know why I have a Sharpie. That's cool. But just like, whole fist around the crayon drawing. This is like, it's like 10 like things I hate like about a, you like level. Like a first graders art yeah. project. And are I you in like a classroom like too? He's, he's Heath Ledger and I'm I'm the person that helps Heath Ledger, <laughs> Ledger like put down his thoughts into words. I'm just like... Yeah, like we're we're in the library and he's like over my shoulder and it, it comes out and it's me, shark. <laughs> <laughs> me like Judy. And then, I, and then I have like an idea and I like run over to the bathroom where there's probably in my uh, some like perfumes or something like that. Mm -hmm. Sure. Like, oh, you spray with perfume. Oh, cool. And then I take a hot dog to the bottom. So canonically, <laughs> you decided they're doing this in the library. And I know you guys from time to time have done library research. Does anyone have words of encouragement for Shark who's now canonically learning how to write? From a level a nat 20 writer? Mm -hmm. well, I'm going to cast Mavis Beacon for him. <laughs> Just this Not familiar with that. And just be like, I'm I feel gonna... like I'd learn better from Mozzie. Oh, actually, that's foreign <laughs> languages. <laughs> yeah. Ignore that. You're thinking of hooked on phonics. Ah, hooked on phonics. Yeah, hooked on phonics. God bless, God bless phonics. I'm just gonna kind of be like, you can come to me if that doesn't work out. <laughs> I'll try teaching you. <laughs> He's making research. progress. Yeah, I'm getting there. So, um, do you want me to write more? Is that what you're hoping for here? Give me the gist of your letter, and we'll figure out what we do from there. You know, it was just kind of saying, me, Shark, <laughs> I like Judy. Wow, um, so sorry. That's pretty good for you. Can we meet? Oh, is this like a you up letter? It's a, not so much a booty call, it's just I've never met her. Okay, got it. I need to make sure that we all understand that I helped you write a booty call text with a hot dog in it. Yep. Here. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I've, no. No. I've canonically sent a physical wiener. <laughs> um, a did you dog. cut it? Did you cut it to scale? Cut it to scale? You're no, I had to take multiple together to get Okay, to scale. so take down two from your hot dog we'll inventory then. Both of you have, have walked through the like lobby enough now at this point. Um, where you have like seen the like drop box for like letters and stuff like that at the front desk. So you know there is a place to like mail things or like submit those kinds of oh, pieces okay. of paper. Is there, is there a wax ceiling center near it? I would imagine there would be some on that desk, the information desk. We seal it. <laughs> nice. When you do, it kind of like a, a low thrum of power from Ooh. out of the ceiling. It looks a little bit like your necrotic energy. Oh, interesting. This is what my contracts always look like when I yep. write, write that. It's an oh, official no. document. It's like you send it from your company office. It's pretty cool. Yeah. You want to put this in the mail slip with me? It'd be wrong for, together. Yeah, together. And then like when you put it in, there's like a belch of like hellfire. 
Ooh. Hey, well, I think it went through. No, I think it went through. <laughs> That's how my mail system works. Okay. Well, you guys have together sent a letter. Uh, a beautiful scene. Do you have birthday gifts? My my gift was teaching him our fucking right. Hey, fair enough. Yeah, that was a wonderful gift. I do really appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> I am going to take out of... I'm going to run back to the inventory desk, actually. Okay. Actually, this doesn't matter for me to give back to him because it's in the armory. I'll be honest, you could just give me a hot dog. I, that was <laughs> up next, yeah. Yep. I'm going to give you a hot dog. <gasps> okay. And well, it's beautiful. God, Two hard tacks on the side, full of like that. I could have a hot dog. It's crazy. That is a hot dog. No, no, like a hot dog like with a bun. Oh, I see. Because a whole hot dog should have a bun. I think they do have buns. Flashback to the bot, the bunless hot dog. Mm -hmm. anyway. Which we canonically finally killed. Maybe. Maybe. Or, <laughs> sure or, 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 or we bundle up. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Or Shark's dead. Or everybody. Yeah. Or Shark <laughs> isn't here now. This might be in loving memory of Shark. <laughs> All right, we're teasing enough. This Not done ever if Shark was alive. If yeah. The, yeah, this is the other. This the is next the episode set. starts with everybody in tears, and it's like, this is what could have been. <laughs> <laughs> so a happy dream. This is being played at your funeral. Yeah. <laughs> Beautiful. Anything else, gentlemen, a fine scene? Uh, yeah, I just want to go to Malar. But we're sleeping now, or no, we're not sleeping. Uh, well, you did your synergy already. Yes, I know. It so maybe like maybe if Valar wants a chance, he can do synergy with you, but maybe he has <laughs> ideas. I couldn't dare ask. Who's next? Anyone with Shark as well? Or you guys want to do what we want to do? I got one for Shark. Okay. I feel gonna, like the bell of the ball. <laughs> I'm going to walk up to Shark and be like, hey, big man, how's it going? Hey, little guy, I'm good. How are you doing? Not that little, but I got an idea. <laughs> I'm going to conjure, I'm going to think real hard and see if on the other side a pitching machine spawns, like to track the speed. Oh, okay. Do you come up to him like after he's done his letter adventure or just some other time throughout the day? Legitimately, like he turns around and takes three steps and he walks into me and I'm like, check this out. <laughs> um, it, you try, you're like trying your best to make a pitching machine happen and you like, Freddy stands up from the information deck and he goes, I'm going to play baseball. And he just walks off in a direction. And I'm do you well, like baseball? Well, I was going to have him see how fast you throw this. I'm going to like pick up a little ball that's like baseball sized. Okay. And I love that skin. Just, just, I guess just throw, throwing it at that wall over there. Yeah. Freddy, is Freddy out of your shot? He's like walking towards something. Oh, Freddy. Yes. Can you measure the speed of things? I can. Come do that. And then we can go play baseball. Okay. It's kind of playing baseball. He walks over to you and he just grabs your arm and starts dragging you. Okay. We are going to play baseball now. I think we should go with Freddy. Yeah, just throw it. Just throw it. Just throw it at him. <laughs> just throw it at him. Yeah, see if he'll track that. You don't ball. have to let him. You can try and get Tess if you want. He's going to try and drag you. I'm just going to throw the ball like him told me to. <laughs> okay. He, like, with, like, robot position, like, watches the ball. Did you want the speed? Is that what you're looking for? Yeah, I just see if he really throws that humdinger. Give me an athletic check. Oh, the first dice roll. Let's go. This is critical. Oh, I must be sleepy. That's a eight. No, I think you're just off balance. Yeah. It's not very He's good. got one in my arms. Yeah, it's not. I, mean, I, that, I didn't put my best foot forward. He's holding on to me. Yeah, but I feel like you need to really fucking sling something like that. So like uh, here, good. yeah, just uh, grab right here. I'm going to like. I'm going to grab you. Yeah, from right here. Oh, and I'm going to reach in. Do that. Throw Again. you? Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're consenting. You just throw me. All right. And, like, put my hands out in front of me. Um, yeah. Off-carry DM, could you go grab the dice off the shelf? Because I would love to do a yeah. skill check for this. Yeah. Uh, okay. So what's your goal here? You're in the lobby, to be clear, still? You didn't go where? I just want to test us, like... If I prepare a spell, uh -huh. he could just fucking sling me and I B-52 bomb, kind of. <laughs> okay, so you want a smooth arc. You want kind of like a toss. Yeah, almost like a pigskin throw, I guess. He can grab me by like my hips. And just yeah, tell me, just... what trajectory do you want? Um, I think we could probably figure it out in the heat of the moment. Right. We can practice a couple of them. Let's do like a Hail Mary on this one. Hail Mary is a baseball play. And he grabs hemp as well. And it's he keeps trying to drag you guys. <laughs> Should we go where Freddy's taking Let's us? just go with him. Let's see, right, let's see what he wants. Before. Before. I'll throw you where, wherever he yeah. gets. Up. There's like a, like, he, he takes you around a corner and you appear in like an entertainment building. It's like one of those ones with like go-karts, pitching machines, trampolines. It was a good place for what you described. And he says, I will be the pitcher. And he walks over and grabs a bat and starts bonking his head. 
Okay, I can ignore him now. I'm glad he brought us here. Yeah, this is great. Oh, you know, I won intramural softball in hell oh. eight years in a row. Oh. I think you intramural hell softball. I'm gonna. I was the only one who played. You won the you big up. throw competition. Oh, 14. that's an unnatural twenty. Okay, uh, I think this looks about as good as it can. Um, describe your action here, and what are you guys? What props are you using to make this happen? I think I just. Fucking scruff them. Yeah. And I just... Ah, uh, the overhand grenade? Yeah, yeah I've got, got like, it. a fucking fire spell or something. Right, or I've got witch bolt, maybe. I'm fucking blasting the ground as I kind of fly. Perfect. He, it does look a little bit like a tiny man-sized ship. Just poof, lightning bolt, and then he hits a little trampoline. Boing, and he rolls around. I've got that, a, was, that was really fun, actually. Let's do that again. <laughs> I got a good idea, though. I'm going to okay. take off my helmet or hat, and I'm going to punch it to make it real straight. And then I'm going to be like, and I'm going to put like a little bit of metal in there to make it nice and firm, like a steel tip <laughs> boot. Dynamics. Yeah, and I'm going to be like, throw me again. I'm also going to take my suit off and put some of the random metal he found in the corner and put it on his back like little wings. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I like that. Okay, <laughs> I'm going to pick them up again. And Interesting. Toss them. All right, and just to be clear, you want to be the dart. <laughs> yeah, I'll just be the dart. I'm, I'm going to throw him at Freddy. Okay. Oh. 19. <sighs> Freddy goes, pitch her up, and he ready for that. <laughs> but he rolled well, and Freddy just completely misses. Um, but you hear like a crash as he hits like kind of like some barrels of bats. Uh, and it's clear you have done some damage. Roll a d8. <clears throat> okay. Give me a dexterity saving throw. Okay. Three. Uh, 16. Okay. Um, you're going to take three points of damage as he just throws okay. you into these bats and they come crashing down. And, and Freddy goes, touchdown. <laughs> and are you okay? I'm, I'm a little shaken up, but I'm pretty good. I'm just going to help you out. Okay, thank you. I'm going to be like, I'm going to do something with this so I just fucking stick in the ground next time. Okay. <laughs> That's perfect. I am going to give you my birthday present I got for you. Oh, really? What is it? It's the book that I kept threatening Joey Peanuts with. I'm going to take it out of my bag and hand it to you. Ooh. What is it? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to look at it. I'm pretty sure when I picked it up from the library, it was Are You My Zother? Oh, I think it was actually. <laughs> it's a little beautiful little book. Okay. And I'm going to reveal my present to you a second tie. Oh. You know, you've been wearing this one so much. I thought maybe you need a little change of scenery here with this. What color is it? Uh, this one? Blue. Ooh. With green stripes. Oh, what kind of blue? What kind of blue? Uh, like a navy blue. Oh, it, just, it matches my pajamas so well. Yeah. <laughs> you is it, is it a pajama bed. tie? No, it was a regular tie, but it just worked so well. The okay, really I've only it? ever had one tie in my life. Well, now you have two. Once I walked into one of those restaurants where they like to cut the tie and hang it on the wall. They don't like you to wear nice clothes in there. Oh my I God. killed everybody. I've never been in one of those restaurants. I only had one, so That's I couldn't so let weird. it get cut. I appreciate that. Now I can go to that restaurant. And <laughs> get your tie cut? No, I really, I'll have the other one cut so that I can still wear the one you got. Wow, that's so sweet. Thank you. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Anyone else have any synergy time to do with Shark? <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> okay, I'd like to um, change gears a little bit. Kind of at the end of the day, the curator comes looking for you, Hugh, and him. Um, one by one, he kind of asks if you wouldn't mind helping him um, in a gift that he has wants to give to the other curator. He needs both of your help uniquely. Okay. We all help. Okay. Well, he grabs you both and he starts leading you. He's like, hey, thank you so much, boys. Um, <laughs> well, I have this thing. And he opens the door and it's like a new universe and it's like one enormous still. There's pipes like everywhere. And things are like smoking and spewing. And he goes, it, it can make espresso, I think, in this area. And I was wondering, Hemp, you're like a rude guy. Maybe you could just take a look. Sure. I'm going to go up and fiddle with it a little bit. Will you give me uh, maybe like an arcana check? Um, 18. Oh, beautiful. Okay, you think you can fix it and you know the problem. It's that someone has like twisted a pipe. You have like a keen eye that you think you can just replace some things and make it work. It's going to take a few minutes. Sound good? Sounds good. Hugh, the curator, goes, Hey, it's a bit deceptive. Oh, hey, I'm sorry, but I wanted to talk to you about the, the screenplay. 
Yeah. Where did you get that? Well, it was gifted to me at the Dino Rodeo after we're leaving Epstein's Island full of <laughs> these weirdos. Who? Bad guy, you wouldn't like him. Oh, well, I hope he's not around anymore. No, he's not. He's gone. He's okay. dead. So they gave me this. Well, we had a guy named Lombardi. Real, <laughs> real battle axe. Lombardi. Yeah, Lombardi's <laughs> great. <laughs> there was a game, a game. There was a blue guy, something Lombardi. Is that him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Got it. He said <laughs> that game. Some, some guy came up and gave him that script for me. And I was like, well, I know who that guy is. It's probably that shadowy guy i have been chasing around. Hey, shadowy guy? Yeah, he's like this shadow guy. He's like as powerful as a museum or something. He's like super old and stuff. Like he flips over his notes and there's like list of employees. It's like curator, curator, Freddy, and then like you guys. And he goes, huh, okay. Um, that sounds bad. And well, like I was saying earlier, it's it, it, it checked out to you on long-term loan, which we didn't know was possible until we saw that. So that's that's like way above our heads. We can't even do that. Yeah, interesting. So, how does that make you feel? Does that make you concerned? Inferior as a man, if that's what you're. <laughs> <laughs> More so, like, have you ever had this happen before? You ever seen something that? No, and and honestly, that scares me shitless. Yeah. Do you know what this script does? Well, occasionally we get little snippets. We can occasionally listen to your badges. Sometimes we hear some of the funny stuff you guys say. I heard you ask it a question. It was a good question. I was wondering too. Um, <clears throat> but not really. Just you asked it a question. Maybe you got an answer? Yeah, I gave, gave an answer. It, so it gives us a, a, an answer to a yes or no question. Hmm. What do you think I should ask it next time I get a chance? Yeah, didn't Shark kill a kid as well? Maybe we could find out if that one was deserving. I'll take you on to something. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good question. I've been wondering. Well, really though, I mean, you could find out how it was made and, oh gosh, the infinite amount of answers and oh, the meaning of life even, or I, I don't know, is there anything you want to know? I kind of just want to find my dad. Don't tell anyone I told you that, though. Eh, well. But that's not a yes or no question. I know that bastard's alive. What? <laughs> what, what, what? Bastard? What happened? It's not worth getting into it. You wouldn't understand. Well, I think you may be putting a request with the library system eh, to find some information. I mean, what's his name? I could maybe help. We occasionally come across books and things. I don't know his name. I never met him. Huh. He left when, when I was just a boy. Couldn't stand the sight of me. I what think. a dick. Well, I mean, I, I kind of understand. I blew up his wife. Oh, you mean your mother? Yeah. Oh, we saw that in the in the rodeo. We heard the, Poof, your mom. Oh, no, no, no. Like, I mean, like, vaginally, like, oh. during birth. <laughs> like, immediately. Oh, oh, hey, look, hemp's done. I'm, sure I'm, not, I'm still working. I'm just, like, <laughs> are, you, it. are you sure you're not done? Okay. Uh, mm. Yeah. Hey, I think there's a ring caught in here or something. <laughs> My arm's like all the way in there. I'm sorry about that. That's tragic. Yeah, that was terrifying. Hey, well, I'll get the other curator. He likes to do the cataloging and the information and things. But we'll take a look. I hope you find him. Are you going to kill him? I'll probably kill him. I kill everyone. He'll be no exception. Yeah, but me to ask you, you guys do a lot of killing. It's the most effective way to get things done, I've learned. Hey, hey, I'm not here to judge. You complete the cards. The museum keeps it going. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it's working. You guys are benefiting from it. You're using us. Don't think I don't see it. Yeah. It's more like we're all employees here. Uh, that's not what's happening. But you let me kill things, and I appreciate it. Well, I'm not exactly the man. I think I'm more your friend than anything else. I wouldn't go that far. <laughs> we'll work on that. Oh, I also have a gift for you. And um, he hands you like a little glasses cleaner. And he's like, I noticed you never, they're kind of dirty. I have my own issues. I say thanks and then I start <laughs> wiping them down. Oh. Start the glow. Yeah, but we need to, really, I'm just concerned. There's a lot of blood on those. Oh, whatever. <laughs> you know, blood. <laughs> anyway, um, it was good chatting. Um, eh, eh, hemp, are you done yet? Yeah, yeah, I think it's all cleaned out in here. The pipes are all cleaned out. Okay, thank you. Um, and as he's like going to ask you to like demonstrate and like maybe like see if you can get it to make espresso, you have like 
an epiphany, a brain oh. blast, a like recollection to your previous life. What does that look like when you have a moment like that? He just kind of goes like. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> it really just like connects so hard for him. You. Like, it's you, first yeah, that's really, that's actually really good. He has three neurons, and they just fucking like <laughs> bridged. Together. That's beautiful. But it becomes him. the avatar. <laughs> yeah, it's just like the avatar state. Yeah, you have finally remembered your calling card, your favorite spell from back when you were a true, full fledged defender of your realm. It was, and I will not name it because you'll be doing so now and buying you time, oh. a spell where you put in a spell slot and it gives you a random spell of the slot above. Oh, oh you're like a sorcerer, Tynus. Well, kind of like wild magic, yeah. sure. Well, so, what was uh, the name of that spell? I think it was... Uh, That's so funny. Uh, I think it was Hemp's Big Gamble. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Hemp's Big Gamble. You have relearned this spell. That one wasn't near as bad as I thought it was going to be. <laughs> I'm really proud of you on that one. I started looking through my notes to see if I have anything, and the only thing I have written <laughs> above it is Love Sosa. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do that. It's already <laughs> Love Sosa. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, the curator says, Hey, are you okay? Oh, oh yeah! Oh my God! I just figured out how to remember how to do a spell. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> and he isn't he a wizard? Yeah, he's a wizard. <laughs> Strong one too. Yeah, I just is this his first spell he remember? <laughs> first one in a while, you know. I was I've been doing this brewing thing for a while. They forgot like all this good magic, and then I just makes dice dangerous potions and dangerous oh, potions ice shoots ice knives at people and accidentally kills them because I forgot how strong a fucking spell that is. <laughs> when you're saying like I'm killing people with all these spells like a little cup of espresso is like finely brewed next to you. Oh look you got it working I think. I'm gonna try a little sip to see if it's good. It's good. It's oh, very good. Oh my goodness. Oh, whoa. Haven't had caffeine in a while. I'm <laughs> a little bit fucking amorous. Okay oh, well crazy. Um, perhaps, would you like to demonstrate uh, what you've learned? The spell? Yeah. How big is this? Like, what's this room? Where You're in, like, like, a jungle gym of, like, moonshine stills. Oh. Um, fuck. Uh, <laughs> I guess I'll shoot it here. I'm okay. gonna pick, like, the top of one of the stills, like, where it's got the little gauge that tells how, the PSI. What level spell slot will you be using? Um, we're here in the, in the... Museum man, mm -hmm. let me get a two. I'm gonna be long resting soon. All right. Um, I need you to roll a d100. Okay. <laughs> That's an awful lot. Mm -hmm. Do you know how to do that? <laughs> I do. Okay, just checking. Yeah. Let me go here. What is a ninety nine? Oh, oh shit! Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, where did you do this? Oh, what do you mean? Like you just pick a still, right? Like up in the sky. Yeah, just like kind of like one kind of off in the distance in front of me. You conjure an illusory riding creature, um, probably from your past life. Did you have a steed or a mount? Is something you rode? You you effectively cast Boy, phantom well. steed. It's just oh. your two sticks, but bigger. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> up to you. Um, I think it's uh, like a really like cool looking worm. Worm? Yeah. Like a giant earthworm. Yeah. Kind okay. Of it. Well, um, maybe it's something different. It's a little too shy halud for me. Okay. Um, it's your choice. Technically, with the spell, you, you conjure a horse-like creature, and you can just pick mm -hmm. a different horse-like creature every time. I really like the idea that it's from your past life. So, okay. what are you thinking? I think it's like a really big chihuahua. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> Much more a horse. At least on Agid. Like like the battle dog version of a Chihuahua. Well, if you ever see like a Chihuahua, they're actually fucking built like brick shit houses. They're just so small. So this one's just it's huge. Got He's it. like probably four feet tall. Does least. he would you have given him like armor or anything like that? Or like a saddle? Um, I think he probably had a little like leather armor on him. I don't want to weigh him down too much. Does he have a tiny helmet? Quick. That's a huge fucking helmet. Okay, he's got a mega helmet. Got it. Tiny got armor, head, so it's huge helmet. Really big helmet. <laughs> okay, um, he looks excited to see you and then crashes through a bunch of pipes. Oh, what's up, man? Oh, <laughs> oh, 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 oh shit. Oh, fuck. How many uh, points does he have? 
He he has enough to survive this. Um, he hits the ground and then, like like the purest, most wonderful dog, doesn't even notice that he's been injured, and it's just like coming up and like licking your face and like rubbing up on you and just like saying hi. Oh, how's it going there? This isn't my man, Ape's Delight. <laughs> what? I just like the name. Ape's um, Delight is his name. Yeah. Okay. Because he's like it's like a horse name where it's like just three random words. Got it. Mm-hmm. I think that would confuse a lot of people if they didn't know you, but knowing you, that makes a lot of sense. Well, you know, yeah. What'd you say was Ape's Delight? Ape's Delight. <laughs> it's kind of like Sorry, he's got to add it to the notes. Like yeah. yeah, canonicize it. What's the uh, the Turkish Delights, stuff like that? It's just a little like sure. snack from our world. Okay, and he's here for an hour. What? Just name him after. Uh-huh. And you're welcome to hang out with him. Um, but other than being excited to see you, he's basically just a riding chihuahua. And that's what 99 does. Just nice. Riding Chihuahua. Just, of course. In all regular D&D games. Um, I think he even tries to lick Hugh. Would you let him? Yeah, I'd let him. Go for it. After he licks Hugh and realizes you're made of sugar, he's just going to keep licking you. All right, I'm ready my rapier. <laughs> he doesn't understand what it is. He just keeps licking you. Oh, boy. Oh, well, you stop doing that, my little guy. I'm going to kind of like... <laughs> really like a very angry face. Just, okay. Well, that's, you're fine. I'm going to pull out like a little bit of the perhaps your mom that I still had <laughs> like say it's she's not you can't use this one anymore. <laughs> it doesn't count okay I mean I think this is a routine you've done plenty of times so he comes mm-hmm. over he gets the thing that you're offering he eats it um, and there he's thoroughly distracted um, but the curator says well that was fucking weird but thanks for your help guys yeah he's got a new name too I thought of a better one his name <laughs> Pop, the pop is boy <laughs> I just like a little nuts. <laughs> AKA Papa's boy. Well, <coughs> it appears that he's a creature of a temporary nature, so he won't need to go to the lobby so he can hang out with you. Yeah, cool. Yeah, he's going to come back with me. I want him to meet the crew. Okay. Um, he gets real jittery around normal people, so he's got to get used to them. He, um, I, I'm going to get I'm gonna get going to the library. I want to look some things up. <clears throat> but um, I, could you... Uh, could you maybe assemble the crew tomorrow? I, I forgot that when you guys were last here, the uh, foray wanted to see the pictures of the previous uh, expedition teams. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. No um, problem. I ha- have a good night, guys. I'm going to go get the other curator and give him some espresso. I'm so happy. Thank you again. Oh, of course. Anytime. Okay. Bye. And he walks off. See ya. Well, first and foremost, Shark has been really impressive with his reading comprehension, and he's going to do some hooked on phonics worksheets. That's why he's no longer joining us. So he's in the library doing his, you know, with the, the line and the dotted line, and he's doing a great job. So thank you so much for bringing him the joy of reading and writing. Um, Loose second. Yeah. But I believe we're moving into a new synergy. Um, and I think the idea here is that Valar is doing something he would typically do after a battle. Burning? Yeah. Yeah, I'll just, I'll just be polishing my armor. Got it. <clears throat> and I'm just walking over as you're polishing your armor. And I look at myself. In the in the in the spalder. I would assume it's like super shiny at this point. Yeah, I'm around. pretty good at it. Yep. <clears throat> I just say, uh, man, it's been a while since you smiled last. How's it been? Yes, it's understandable. So I wrote this joke for you. I know that you're a celestial being. You like stars. So do I. You ready? <laughs> yep. <laughs> Thank you. <clears throat> How does the moon trim his hair? <laughs> this is torture. <laughs> I don't know. Eclipse it. Jesus <laughs> Christ. Can we do negative synergy? <laughs> We hadn't discussed it, but I don't know. I think at this point, maybe. No, I think. Act... So I'm, I'm like, I'll go back to polishing my armor, and you can see that he's like kind of trying to hold it back. You hear he's like. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you could beatbox. <laughs> That's pretty cool. I'm sorry. That was that's thank you yep. for that joke. I I hope I hope I brighten your day up just like you brighten mine. Oh, is that it? That's that's about the synergy you're getting, brother. 
Valar, anything to add? <laughs> um, no. Cool. <laughs> Great scene. <laughs> but, you know, so, um, I'm not going to say this, but it's everyone's birthday, right? So, mm -hmm. what, what weapon are you using? Uh, part of an anchor, basically. It looks like just a, it looks like just a shitty warhammer with a ring on it. Uh, all right, and I'll be like, uh, "May I see your weapon?" Yeah. <sighs> Here we go. I'm gonna take something sharp. I have, I think maybe I have a bell in my bag, so maybe I broke it. So I have like a little piece, and I'm gonna scrape the insignia that's on my shield, the, the half moon and half sun, into the side of the anchor. And then I'm going to cast Bless on you. And when I do that, the insignia will glow. Oh. And I'll bring back to you. Thank you. I, that's way cooler what I have for you. Because <laughs> I, I wrote that joke. <laughs> <laughs> but here's some Windex. <laughs> I handed the Windex. <laughs> polishing. <laughs> for the polishing process. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> that is a... Chemical compound that makes glass and <clears throat> occasional metals uh, sparkle. Like the stars. Thank you. <laughs> no, uh, we'll go back to polishing. There's like a particularly dirty section. Like maybe you like got some dino poop on it and the Windex is like it's really making it easy. Nice. We did it. Did you, <laughs> you just walk off? That's uh, that's two men passing in the night. Brother. I love it. <laughs> okay, you do indeed feel some amount of synergy. I cannot wait to figure out what that looks like. <laughs> um, but Hugh, the curator, gave you the task of wrangling the troops. Yep. All right, come together, you hooligans. Hey guys, Cause... check this out. I'm gonna cast my cool spell again because I want to see how, <laughs> oh what everyone thinks of it. On what? Um, just directly in front of me, away from everybody else. But I just want to see what cool happenings happen. <laughs> Okay. Do we have free time after this, or yeah. just leading into the? Well, well, you guys ostensibly have had a day or two at this point, so you've already had free time. Go ahead and make a roll, and then at the same time, there's a day or two more as well. Okay. Twenty-eight. 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 <laughs> 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 uh, um. Okay. The magic is like kind of in your hand, and if. Feels like it's drawing you towards someone. Who? Uh, I pick. Mm -hmm. well, it's drawing me towards uh, damn Stewie, man, isn't it? Stewie, do you wish to resist the effects of whatever this spell is? <laughs> we have magic. He is approaching you with a magically glowing hand. Uh, <laughs> <Just like. laughs> hey, man, I think, I think uh, Stewie's just going to let it happen. Like she's definitely like, oh my god, what's hello? Yeah, hello. I don't. I'm not really sure what's happening. <laughs> Describe what you do to make contact here. Just kind of. I'm like, this is. I'm gonna pat her on the back. Be she like, instantly collapses and stops breathing. GGs. And then we make her not do that. If any. Oh no! What happens? <laughs> What'd you do to her, hemp? I wish I damn knew. That's bad. Seven, take a look at it. Um, can I, ins I? This is probably panic mode. Is can I inspect yeah. her for life vital signs? Sure. Or? Give me like a medicine check. Okay. I'm waiting. I'm waiting approximately six seconds to see if she makes a death roll. Okay. <laughs> Maybe she does. Uh, Twelve. Why don't you make, one? Why don't you make one? Oh shit! Now it's real. <laughs> 12, Twelve. Twelve on medicine. <sighs> She's not breathing. Can I lay on hands her? Sure. Uh, you give her what? How? Uh, I think it's. Hang on, let me find it. Uh, five, I'll just give her five HP. They've called my bluff, you don't need to know, roll the death save, but uh, she doesn't wake up. She doesn't move. Um, does my, t okay, can I recheck for vital signs now? Sure, if you want, but I know this curse. This She needs a kiss from my handsome prince. Mm. Well, I'm taking well, some. She's get pretty on much that. screwed then. 18. Okay, you're, you have no idea what's going on here. It appears she is dead. Can I can I chronicle? Okay, okay, okay. I love this. Give me um, give me like a caster check, proficiency, wisdom, roll d twenty. <laughs> Hold on, big dice. Okay. I'm gonna while well, that's happening. Someone hand me the, the big dice. We need like a, like a, one of those things. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry, I had to go with this. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Out of all people. <laughs> All right. He did this to you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh what a comeback. Oh. Yeah, you know. We had not decided that it worked this way, but 
the Chronicle. Uh, remind us what it does and give us an explanation of what's happening. Uh, it allows me to analyze a living, or like... I think we refer right, it to autonomous, something okay. that's yeah. moving uh, on its own will. Any, any sentient being mm -hmm. and uh, learn something vital about it in that moment. Stewie is under the effects of a feigned death spell, which is a third level necromancy spell that makes someone seem dead and it does nothing else. <laughs> Cool. Do, <laughs> do we know when it wears off? An hour. Okay. She will be fine in an hour. No. I'm like, what the fuck? <laughs> God, I don't know how to fix this. We need a kiss. You said somebody handsome, right? When you Zatch it. We must get Zatch it. Oh, God. And I went in the lobby. <clears throat> I remember what this did. It's going to take you a little while. Wow. Wow. You guys have at least, I would say, five to ten minutes before this Zatchet thing resolves. Is there anything you guys want to do? Um, so guys, she's not dead. Just pretending against her will. You, you are fine. This is... Could be really funny, though. <laughs> or it could be really bad. <laughs> I can't see how it could be bad. Well, I don't want her forced into being kissed by Zatchet, because that's a bad precedent to set for a group. <laughs> oh, about the kiss thing? Yeah, oh, that yeah. part's bad. It's funny that she's fainting death. <laughs> That's just goofy fun among friends. Yeah, she's always been a practical jokester. Frey doesn't hear any of this, by the way. So. No, he doesn't. Uh, Frey, you arrive at the lobby. Zatchet is in there, and he's made like several spears and javelins out of like table legs. When you open the door, it's like, da, da, like I'd like, I'd like to like, ins like uh, get a perception check or a... Uh, uh, Investigate. I want to see how he's doing insight, rather, right? Um, sure. Insight seems fine. You're trying to give like a battle sense. Fifteen. Like his mental state or his current tactical awareness. His mental state was never good. Like how right. good is he at fighting? Um, I would say you think he's actually learning a little bit here. Um, he dodges a blow, but the guy that like kind of Tarzan originally and like took him out, like beheaded him. The first one misses, but that guy comes from the other side and beheads him again. With my new branded flail, I'm gonna or not flail. Sorry, you have a flail. Oh. No hammer. I'm gonna attack him. I'm gonna attack it. Yeah. You're going in the lobby. Yeah. Where is he? Oh, brother. Oh. You next to your saving throw. Of course. He's got a fool. A seven. Uh, you get hit in the back of the head with like a bunch of books as like you walk in the lobby and everyone stops battling for a second and points and laughs. <laughs> uh, but Zatch is currently headless. Headless? Yeah, yeah. The guy got him. But it's kind of rolling back towards his body right now. That's no prince, and I run away. It's <laughs> <laughs> no prince. Uh, you take one point of book damage. Oh, fucking cannot believe it. Was yeah, it's okay. Uh, are you retreating and going back to these guys? Yeah, dude, the guy was headless, bro. No he problem. comes back like 15 minutes later, if you guys are still there. Yeah. 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 But, uh... He was busy kissing somebody else. <laughs> so, okay. The floor. Like that, dude. Should we just drag her? Should we wait, or can we just drag her <laughs> along with us, or pick her up? How long does this it's like last. an hour? It's been like what, twenty minutes or so. Yep. Yeah, so like. she's almost done. No. So we used to third through. So we used to do this with the guys that got hit by like cannon fire. We used mm -hmm. to do a nose goes. Oh, I mean, looks like yeah. you're carrying her. Yeah. But mine. Okay. Where are you guys carrying her exactly? Just whatever we have to do. Oh, okay. Until she wakes up to the break room, basically. Then to like see this thing that's grouping up. Okay. So you guys drag carry? No, I'm trying to like. Oh, I think. I kind of Luckily, you have resistance to all types of damage, so you won't take that much bumps and bruises if he drags you. And I kind of put my, what do you call it, my stabs under uh, her arms. I'm making like it, a little, like a little. Sled. Yeah, so they're like underneath her. Well, they're like underneath their arms, so I'm walking like at the base, like uh -huh. this, and so she's at the top of it, like, <laughs> like weakened at Bernie. You're weakened. Yeah, yeah, kind of weakened at Bernie. Okay. A bit. You. This is going to take him a while. <laughs> this is not exactly expedited transport. Are you guys moving on ahead to that, or are you just going to watch this unfold? I'm definitely moving on. Yeah, y'all get y'all get on up there. I'll catch up when I get there. This is his fault, so. I'm an intuitive guy. I'm trying to and I feel guilty. Help. Okay, you're gonna thank you. Uh, you're trying this. This is insane. Seven without you know too much ado. It's just gonna help you get hurt. Okay. By the time you guys get to the kitchen, you're you've started to come around. You are being carried and propped up. What? Oh, I'm so sorry. It, the second I hit you, I was like. Oh, she is gonna be out for a while. What the fuck? How was it? Are you guys doing? Master Stewie, you are awake. Would you like some water? 
Yeah, I'd love some hotter things. <laughs> We're going to see a cool thing. What the one of the curators said we had to all group up. So we're just gonna go see what he's talking about. How I'm was not it? gonna let you do your little special spells with me anymore. <laughs> yeah, that's valid. That's a very valid thing. Um, completely understandable. Uh, completely get that. How was it being fake dead? Um, I saw a couple people that I've ran into in my past so no. it was nice to catch up with him yeah oh did you see fucking what's his name the dude i blew up with the ice knife still feel real bad about that yeah he's he's doing great down there no oh, what's he think about me is he still real same thing i think him? about you right now actually <laughs> what <laughs> same thing that i think about you right now oh. that's your biggest fan <laughs> well i'm sensing dissent in our group <laughs> 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 i won't say whether it's warranted or not <laughs> You, no, like you say that as you're like walking into the break room of the museum, which is like a shitty corporate break room. There's like bad tables, chairs, like a small fridge, like a Mr. Coffee. Um, and on the tables are a bunch of like personal cakes. And Izzy's there. She got the biggest smile on her face. And she's like, y'all, I did it. I made cakes for everyone. This is awesome. Opium and wine, although I couldn't do that at the same time. Some of them have opium and some of them have wine. Nice. Now we get the... No, it's I'm not feel so, so mad yeah, I'm gonna you, say, I It's going to feel so good now that you just woke up. It's like a big old nap. <laughs> I don't remember which ones are which, though. That's the fun of the game. <laughs> the game's the game, player. Okay. We're gonna <laughs> there be you go. It's like very obvious which ones are the wine because they're like hard stained red. Um, <laughs> could be anyone's game, y'all. Do we have numbers we need to pick from? or this is just, There's just a bunch of cakes on the table. Okay. I'm going to go up and grab one. A red one or a not red one? A not red one. Okay. I need this right now. <laughs> an opium, an opium yeah. cake. I'm going to rip an opium cake as well. Okay. I'm, I'm going to eat my hot dog and I'm going to be full. Okay. <laughs> Can I uh, nature check or investigate check just to see like the okay. quality and everything? Okay. Yeah. So I want to know. Well, let's, I'm not going to know. It's a three. <laughs> okay. I mean, you've never seen an opium cake before, so you're not even sure to compare it to what. Or if it's going to even work. Right. Who knows? Damn it. I'll just grab a uh, wine one. Wine cake. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to take the icing off of a wine cake. Okay. Just like one finger. I'll grab a wine one as well. Okay. Um, I guess everyone who eats any of that needs to make a constitution saving throw. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like used to the opium cake. I feel like you do, you get advantage and you get to choose the result. Well, do I eat it? So does she. What? Do I eat it? You. What do you do with food? I think I just process it. And okay. Just like figure out what the ingredients are. You said we roll with advantage. Yeah. You, if anyone at this group <laughs> is resistant to drugs of any nature, it's Stewie. I got a 12. Ooh, got a 20. I got a 15. Okay. Unnatural 20. Okay. I think a 15 gets you there. A 12 is, it's just, you got a little wine buzz. Oh, nice. Perfect. perfect. I think maybe your your color turns a little bit like darker. Cause you're- 11. Uh, great cake, Izzy. Uh, what effect is this cake having on you? You get to choose. I'm high as fuck right okay. now. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, seven is dissecting. Yes. Do you want me to like carry my computer oh. type thing? No, I don't think you need to roll, but I, I would like no. to hear how you process this abomination. I think the same little universal compartmental pocket dimension I have, I guess, <laughs> and I just drop it in and just rumble a little bit, and then it is mostly wine. <laughs> Okay, fair But enough. the sponginess is exquisite. Oh, Izzy's face is like, she's very proud. Bilar, you're fine. It's it's good cake, but you know, you don't really notice a difference. Good soup. Good soup. And then 4A, sorry, which one did you get? I didn't, I didn't eat. Oh, that's right, the hot, the hot dog. dog. And then I rolled, uh, so I probably confused you with that. Can I get a dexterity saving throw? Motherfucker, right? It's your birthday and you didn't eat the cake? Hmm. Well, I had a hot dog. Yeah, I understand you. A vegetarian. I understand. That's not how that works, brother. <laughs> Oh, 19. Oh, okay. Um, like almost passive aggressively, like a ceiling panel kind of falls off, like one of those like drop ceilings, but you see it coming and you step out of the Can way. I like, sure. Yeah. Um, and uh, you've repelled the museum's attack. Um, <laughs> but nice try museum. In walks the curator and he says, oh, happy birthday. Oh, I see. It only happens once. You'll be all right. Um, are the cakes good? Which one should I have? Yeah. You should really think about which one you want. You know, you just really think on it a little bit. Sniff them out first, for sure. What? You should have the ones on 
And I'm going to point to the opium cakes and be like, <laughs> I'm going to those. I'm going to point out an opium cake and I'm going to. Like the one he's going for? No. I mean, he's already walking over? Good. Like he said, you want to go and he kind of looks at one. I'm, I'm looking at one. I'm going to grab oh. it for him. Okay. So you, just to be clear, you want to force pull a cake. Yes. I need a dexterity saving throw? Of course you do. <laughs> it's a cake? It's always, it's oh, always dexterity. Does your thing have to meddle in it? Yeah, no. I I no, no, he just has a force now. Uh, <laughs> he, that's originally how we planned it, but this is way funnier. Uh, <laughs> but the thing is, they just wrote static cling. I'm like, like, static electricity clings to everything. I was like, that's way yeah. more Why? scary if there's just metal. Yeah, in actually, well, to yeah. be fair, it is lithium <laughs> in there. Uh, the big one has aluminum, man. That's a metal. I'm kidding. Anyways. Uh, damn. Seven. Okay. He force pulls this entire cake, which turns into pastry shrapnel and just fucking <laughs> splats all over him. What did you think was going to happen? I was trying to grab the plate under the cake. You said I'm not the that cake? I'm not that refined yet. Oh, got it. Okay, oh, no. Whoopsie daisy. All right, now he's covered in cake. The museum is satisfied. The offering is... Has this, this hit me like a fentanyl patch? <laughs> no. Does opium go through the blood brain I assume that you're, you're it, yeah. wearing clothes and armor. No, maybe not. Do you want to get high? What's no, I'm saying, here? like, did it hit my face? Like, what is it on my skin? Yeah, it's like on your arm. I'm getting high, dude. On okay, accident. He's getting high. Fuck, dude. Fair yeah. enough. Yeah. I'll come oh. spray some Windex. <laughs> <laughs> it kind of stings a little. <laughs> he may he may just like chlorine gas and dead. <laughs> are you like polishing his arm? Or you just, no, no, I'm just gonna get it. Oh, he wouldn't, he wouldn't wear it down. Clean up on just, yeah. The curator looks at this display and says, it, what? <laughs> what is going? I'm gonna try the red one. And you just try the red one. You'd like that. He eats it. Ooh, ooh, it's my kind of cake. Mm. Uh, thanks for everyone for coming. Um, Foray, you asked me to see a picture of the, um, the last team? That was forever ago, but yes. Well, uh, no, I actually, I think you did, but then you got distracted. Anyway, come on. And he kind of walks over to like one part of the break room, like where the like paper plates are, and he points to like an old timey photo on the wall. Um, when you guys go up and check out the photo, there are six people um, pictured there from the right to the left, there's like a war forged um, carrying what looks to be like a large box um, and here's green just... lights. Uh, not dissimilar from Seven's own kind of shape. Um, it looks a little bit like you actually. Um, next to that is a halfling riding a large bulldog, but the bulldog has like an anglerfish light. Uh, he has what appears to be a series of like bows and crossbows on his back. Then there's a turtle, which is a turtle person um, who appears to be wearing some kind of like priestly robes or maybe some like traveler's robes, um, as well as like a large walking stick. Next to them is an enormous woman with an even bigger great club. She's wearing some kind of tribal wear. And there's like like handprints on those uh, tribal right. wear. The mm -hmm. next person I'll get back to, but the final person is a gif in high shorts with spectacles. Um, that person, the gif, is locked arm in arm with someone that Valar, you immediately recognize, but everyone else kind of gets the gist of, is the bartender that you've seen before, who was there on this previous expedition team. Those of you who have not met the bartender in direct person who saw him kind of inhabiting the body, understand that this is probably the same person, but Valar, you're sure. I'll point to him and say, who is that? Hey, uh, like um, some kind of, some kind of very accomplished manservant, I think. I don't really, I didn't, that wasn't my, my gig. The previous teams, they don't really, really carry on like that, you know? No, I don't know. Oh. It, that team is gone. I'm with you guys. I don't really know that team. Where'd they go? Well, they're, they're no more. That museum is gone. Oh, there's are multiple museums that spring up? It's more of like a museum fits the need thing. And there's a new team. You guys are this museum's team. And... So we're the first team this museum had? Well, at least uh, this version of it, you know? It's kind of a cycle thing. Oh. Mm. What causes a new cycle? I don't really know. It's not my job. Hmm. So he's still high, right? Oh, yeah. He's definitely talking about multiverses. <laughs> oh. Are you, like, seeing things? Yeah. <laughs> Is there any... Does anyone know anything about this party? Eh... I don't think usually that stuff is kept, but mm, we could maybe... F the thing about this museum is the better you guys do, the stronger it gets. We could maybe um, work towards getting a stronger library in the museum, a more full museum is stronger. So, not right now, but... Are there perhaps logs where these, this previous party has gone to? 
It's more of the other curious thing. I, 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 I could ask. Why, why are you so curious about this? Perhaps if we can go to a world that they've been to before, we can ask people there about them. That would be impossible. The those worlds are gone. I don't know. So that's probably causing new cycles. They have the museum <clears throat> here to basically record these things before they're gone. Wow, it was very smart. But hey, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you're not that dumb. That's crazy. Well, like <laughs> um, I said, I keep the things around here. That's for you guys to figure out. So uh, I'm going to look at the, the picture even more. Is there any like objects of notoriety that we see? Yeah, so you know, you're kind of taking a look at this. It's like a dig site almost. Um, you see them. They've clearly accomplished some kind of thing. They're holding up uh, what appears to be like uh, an unearthed artifact, like wrapped in like a burlap thing. Because uh, you can see like a crane. Think like the Egypt things that we have here. Here, that's kind of weird. You said you were an artifact hunter, didn't you? Uh, only kind of as means to an end. I'm trying to find my dad, who's the artifact hunter. Oh, so I kind of find him by proxy. Is that your dad? <laughs> well, I don't know what he looks like. You think he's, you think he's my dad? He's a, he's a guest? Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of us, though. I mean, you got lucky sharks zoning out because that's kind of racist. <laughs> Is there any resemblance that we can identify? Give me uh, insight or uh, perception loosely, I guess. Actually, and also if you've known gifts in the past, a history roll. I'm just going to say like gifts, artifact it. hunting, same time. I'm going to look at the picture really hard and then I'm going to shut my eyes. I'm going to turn and look at Hugh and then open them and see how much they match. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I got to turn on perception. Nah, I mean, maybe they're gifts. <laughs> I'm going to get, a, I'm gonna get yeah. a piece of paper. I'm going to trace a gif. Mm. The, 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 the gift guy and I'm gonna hold it and like rip us like a thing out and like hold it in front and be like hmm seems to be a match how effective do you think my technique would be do you think it possibly could earn an, an advantage <laughs> that's a I'm looking at a bat four right now I think probably not given that you're high out of your mind um, <laughs> I'm, I'm his tolerance is crazy that's maybe true, but you sell me yeah. on the reason that you would have advantage on looking at two gifts and saying if they are father and son, and yeah. we'll talk about it. Your approach is closer to the mark, but no, you're you're. I'm just gonna use logic. Hippo here. man, okay. hippo man. I'm not the most logical one here, but I could say that you said artifacts guy and a gift. I, I put these two things together. There's like that's not that common all the time. Kind of like a a reindeer that's a dog. There's a whole world of gif archaeologists out there that are looking for artifacts. There's tons of us. That's what they do. Well, not all of us. Can I do a perception roll? Yeah, yeah, I feel like, like to be fair, if we want to use logic, let's have Seven just run some kind of analysis on that guy and see if we match up in any way. Holy shit, that's brilliant! All right, well, that's a, a eighteen. Ooh. There's no, based on this picture that you're seeing, there's no way to say that it is. But you also know that there's no way to say that it isn't. Um, I think you would, you would think it's possible, but it's not. Probable based on what you're <clears throat> well, if we happen across this guy, we could always ask him because I mean, they are very similar guys, you know. Maybe they know each well, other, hey, you know, you're, similar crew. I'll do it right now. Hey, bud, you got a minute? Oh, the picture, <laughs> holy oh, shit. son of a oh, bitch. Holy, shit. holy fuck. <laughs> oh, the picture, wow, okay. Does it have like seven different voices then? Ooh. The picture is interesting. That's I cute. think, um. Okay, okay. I have big, big no, no. <laughs> <laughs> no, Ryan, Ryan, red alert, that breaking case over. That was huge. <clears throat> the picture uh, kind of like cracks the glass and it comes to life and it says, <laughs> a fine joke. Hi. Hey, how's it going? I'm <laughs> well more entertained now that you've done this. Do you know the people in the picture? My bosses? Yeah, who are they? <laughs> Assholes. They ruined my world. What'd they do to your world? Took me from it in a time it needed it most. A real cruel joke. A fine performance of ineptitude. Man, I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, what are their names? <laughs> Low. Dick. <laughs> sorry. Contractually obligated to say great guy. Low fructose? No, I hate that guy. <laughs> Could just be a coincidence. <laughs> <laughs> Why is... Yeah, his name fruit toast. He's not <laughs> got me bigger. Yes. What a Wait. wonderful coincidence. Hey, did you want Maybe me to say the rest of the names or were we going to stop there? The, 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 the other names too, yeah, just yeah. in case. Hey, uh, Thalo, um, that's the guy with the old stuff. Um, Turg was a uh, woman with the club. 
Chuse, uh, Tortle, uh, Jaunt, um, Halfling, and Joko Imhe, the Warforged. Can you repeat those for yeah. Danny? Not yes. For yes, yes, yes. I'm also recording. Uh, you said Thalo? Thalo was the one you recognize as the bartender. Hmm. Turg is the woman great club fighter. Okay. Shuse as the tortle wearing the robes. Shuse? Uh-huh. I don't know how to spell that. S-H-U dash S-E-I, but spelling is irrelevant in this game. John, J-O-N-N-E-D, as the halfling. Last name I is Chondas. Joko, D-J-O-K-O, space Imahe, I-M-A-H-I-E, is the Warforged. <laughs> I hate these people. They ruined my life, but I can get a last laugh. I can get a last laugh. How so? What's your plan? The show always goes on. You should know that. Why? Because you're a puppet master like me. I wasn't, and then I am. Just be getting a fucking riddles here. What, <laughs> what do you know? What's my name? Do you have one? I see you don't know me. But you you gave me life. Yeah, and I can you're take away too. Yeah. What? I'm powerful. I'm not like a puppet master. Just, you know what? How about this? What do you know about Lo? Tell me everything you know about Lo Fructose. He came to me with grand design to sell me a job, to be an entertainer. So fun for some kind of magic and mystical place, a museum of wonder and whimsy. Hey. Did he follow through with that? We're yeah. at a museum right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. Hey, ask him if his wife blew up. <laughs> yeah, what do you know about low fructose wife? He doesn't, he didn't, what? He was married? Oh my God, he's, he's cheating on her. Mm -hmm. Or he just well, didn't tell him, but yeah, that could also be it. it. <laughs> Did you ever see low fructose with a woman? Several. Oh my God, this no. fucking scoundrel. I want to kill him even more now. <laughs> oh God. Did you, I kind of feel things are getting a little, sli I'm slipping a little bit. Maybe like it's been about a minute. <laughs> oh, <laughs> anyone have any questions you want me to ask this thing? Uh. In the picture, can we see what the artifact is at all? No. It's something wrapped in a cloth. Ask them where What do you look like now? naked? Yeah, ask them where it was taken. Yeah, yeah where, where are they now and where was this taken? Well, I don't know where they are. I, I don't even know where I am, but where it was taken, oh, gosh, an old, an old dig planet, I think. Um, a, a world covered in sand, a society long past... Uh, I don't, um, Sinosia, I think, was the name of that world. Okay. What, what's your name? What's your name? Just a peek. I don't have one anymore, but I used to be called, uh, off camera DM, remind me, do we have this one? Yeah, we do. It's, uh, oh, Pharaoh the Fool. Pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you as well. You've been super helpful. I really appreciate that. Oh, we'll see each other soon. How can you be so sure? <laughs> <laughs> because there's always two sides to every coin. Yeah, that's the way the cookie crumbles, I guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, there it is. Goodbye for now. Bye, Pharaoh. And he kind of fades out within the... <laughs> Damn, we didn't get anything useful out of that, did we? <laughs> <laughs> that's not true. We found out there's a turtle man. <laughs> and his name is Shuse. And another wolf forged as well. Oh, right, that's true. That's true. <laughs> he could be your friend. Uh, the curator looks stunned, and he goes, hey, "What did you do there? That was crazy." I can bring inanimate objects to life for a little bit and talk to him. His eyes light up. You guys are fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're mm -hmm. awesome. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were completely inept. I was so wrong. I lost a bet today. We've been going crazy. We've been yeah, we've getting been, everything we've done. We've been doing like, all the tasks. Yeah. yeah, well, I couldn't figure out why. I, I, but that's so cool. Can you all do that? No, I can just make real yummy brews. He sticks to things. Oh. I just look really hard at stuff <laughs> and learn about it. Okay. I think it's uh, probably about time you took us to Sinoja. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's where we're going next. I'll get to work on the exhibit. Um, well, it could take me a little bit, though. Maybe knock it up a little bit on the uh, priority list, because that seems pretty cool. Well, and I don't make those decisions. It happens above my head, try to explain it. I'm not the man. I'm employed as well. We're all kind of here taking orders from the big museum. Okay. Mm. I'll, I'll talk to the museum. Oh. 
Yeah, I'll talk to the museum. <laughs> Maybe next time. Uh oh. Son, <laughs> son of a bitch. <laughs> Is this the consequences of our actions? Is this the consequences of our actions? Uh oh. Um, wow, that's crazy how we're going to do everything on the same day now. Um, anyway, um, have you guys any more questions or anything you'd like to discuss in this scene? If not, we have more synergies to do. Um, you're, you're still coming down from your high, I assume. <laughs> Master Stewie, would you like some water? Sure, thanks. <laughs> oh, the shit tastes amazing. <laughs> you know, throughout our travels, you are the only person in our party that has had any other interest in nature. I love nature. I was wondering where your love for it came from. Well, I I came from it. So, that you know. Makes sense. We're all I, alive. of course, can't sympathize with that, but it makes sense. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> Where is this I, taking place? In the kitchen, in the break room still? Or are you guys like walking anywhere? It could be in the break room. Okay. You guys are like talking over like wine and opium cake? Sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm just dropping it in, pretending tea, to tea eat. crumpets. <laughs> Where does your love come from? It, I'm not exactly sure. I just woke up one day and had an interest in it. My father, I guess, taught me in the ways of Druid magic and- Oh, you love your dad? I do. That's nice. I miss my dad. It is not an ex uh, a usual experience for Warforges to have. I, I do recognize that I'm quite privileged to have a parent. It's pretty cool, man. I mean, it's pretty amazing that you're like sentient and stuff. I, mean, I don't know if it's just the opium or what, but it's blowing my mind a little <laughs> bit right now. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. You killed him. <laughs> <laughs> Facts. I also don't know if you actually did opium or this is just the role play. I'm, sorry. I'm scared. Mom, come pick me up. <laughs> what are your parents like? Uh, they're, they're pretty big. They're, you know, just running around, taking care of the forest, putting out forest fires. Oh. Yeah, would yell at me because sometimes I accidentally start a forest fire, you know. Wouldn't like, be my first time doing it either. <laughs> but they're pretty cool. They're nice. Really lovely people. Old people of the forest are. Mm -hmm. It has me quite concerned about Hugh's situation, finding his father. I can't imagine what he must be going through. Do you think he loves his dad? Absolutely not. Oh. <laughs> no. I think Hugh is still in the room, by the way. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> You love your dad, Hugh? I hate him. Yeah. Can't wait to slit his throat. No, oh, wow. Maybe you should have a slice of this opium cake. It's pretty good. Wouldn't man. do anything to me. I think it'd make you love everything. Nope, <laughs> doesn't work on me. I'm resistant to opium, <laughs> specifically. It's a, it's a feat from being a half gummy bear, half hippo. It's uh, opium resistance. We talked about this in episode Damn, zero. Yeah, that sucks. <laughs> it has me thinking, if the moment arises and we do meet Hugh's father, should one of us stop him? From hurting him. Would it be wrong to let him commit patricide? Oobla di oobla da. Life goes on, man. I couldn't agree more. <laughs> Thank you for this productive conversation. Life goes on. <laughs> Incredible. Uh, I think that was seven talking to Stewie. Stewie, did you want to talk to anyone else as well for a synergy? Birthday gifts. Yes, also birthday gifts. Thank you. God, that voice from nowhere is so handsome. <laughs> Ten out of ten would smash. That's I noticed your specific interest in opium. <laughs> so, from from the remaining cakes in the kitchen, I have devised opium concentrate for you. I must warn you. It's a hundred times more potent. I must warn you. <laughs> Instant death. Why have we done this? <laughs> I must warn you. It must be taken in small doses, uh -huh. or else it will result in cardiac arrest. Microdose and opium. Got it. <laughs> that sounds and I awesome. Hand, I hand her a little vial of super opium. Is it like so expertly cool. sealed a seven brand vial or like something you found around? Like what does it look like? It's like a little test tube that okay. I found just in the in the museum. Okay. Use it with caution. I will because I'm pretty fucked up right now. And I don't think if we were out in the real world, I'd be able to do jack shit. 
I am beginning to feel more like an enabler. <laughs> <laughs> I guess for your birthday. Well, <laughs> do you ever need, um, you know, I've got this bird that lives in my hair. His name is Harold. Harold, yes, we have talked. Mm -hmm. Well, he's got these like little tail feathers. So if you ever feel like you need to get like dusted off or something, you know, there's some like nooks and crannies that, you know, maybe he could help like clean you up a little bit. He wouldn't mind. And that wouldn't hurt him at all. No, he'd enjoy it. It'd be like preening or something for him. Oh, perfect. Yeah, and then that way you guys could have like a bond because that's how birds bond. Yeah. I've noticed, especially since our excursion in Dino Rodeo, I've gotten quite dusty. I have seeming to be uh, grinding here and there, well, a little bit of sand in my joints. You can go ahead and borrow Harold for a little bit. He knows what to do. He flies over and starts like using his feathers to like dust out the cracks. Just a giant cloud of dust <laughs> is coming off of me. Beautiful. Well, okay. Uh, those were amazing birthday gifts. Uh, I don't really want to see what happens when you bust out the opium, so we'll definitely have to think on that one. <laughs> Dude, do you imagine in 20 years people look back and they're like, I wonder where that second wave of the opium curtain came from. <laughs> and it's like, oh, look at this guild chain. Yeah. yeah. If the aliens made it cool again. We're starting it's like the way. Franz Ferdinand of like World War II. Yeah. <laughs> the, the opium vial heard around the world, sure. Uh, Stewie, who would you like to have synergy time with? Um, I think I'm going to walk over to Foray. Okay. In the bedroom still? Yeah. Give me a second. Um, so Seven, since your business has concluded, what would you be up to now? Just cleaning. Okay, everything I'm, I'm in butler self? mode. Everything. Would that take you out of this room and into the museum? I think at this point, I have just like fucking like roomba the entire break room. I'm moving on to other. I'm you moving. kind of step out and you kind of zone into this cleaning montage you have where you investigate. And you know, you're doing your best job to tidy up the museum. And as you wander for a bit, you find yourself in a room that you've never seen before. Um, it appears to be like full of like old tech, um, what look like VCRs, as well as like maybe like empty game cartridges, a few old systems, things that look like they've been kind of jury-rigged together. Um, in the dead center of the floor, there is a like, what appears to be like maybe some kind of tape or cartridge uh, with just like a sticky note with the number seven on it. What the hell is this? And I'm I'm not going to slot it in yet. Okay. Um, I'm just going to hang on to it. Okay. Can I look around the room for other cartridges? Though? Yeah. So there aren't any completed cartridges in here, but it's very clear that whoever modified, um, like, or what was in charge of this room or worked in here was like tinkering with cartridges and making them or changing them in some way. Okay. Curiosity is getting the better of me. I'm going to slot in the Sticky Note 7 cartridge. <laughs> you go to put it into like your personality matrix. You find it's a different size. It maybe is more like a message cartridge or like a tape or something like that, a okay. smaller player. Okay. Um, yeah, I imagine you have it somewhere, um, whether that's in your wrist or whatever. You put it in and you hear a, another Warforged voice. Um, the tape is a little garbled, but as best you can, there are excerpts about... Um, Maybe like some kind of scientist or worker who's talking about a concept for upcoming works. He's recognizing individual experiments and he lists off some things. The volume kind of peters out. Um, but you hear him say one through five were failures. Six made seven as his son and expected the world to be determined. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Uh, you know quite sure how to feel about this i wasn't designed for these kinds of feelings this is an existential dread i don't like this i'm gonna put it back in my bag and i'm gonna leave the room <laughs> back to cleaning yeah back to cleaning fair enough um we'll go back to the break room here where stewie has approached foray hey 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 foray hello stewie do you think i should wear my hat like this or like this <laughs> uh yeah like that this way no sounds good Okay. Uh, hey, listen, I think, you know, with this opium cake, it's got me feeling a lot more, I don't know, like the love or whatever. And I just, I just I have a couple things to say to you. First, I want to say thank you for bringing me back from the dead. 
I don't know why everybody's trying to kill me these days, but I really, really, really appreciate it. And um, I know I've been a bitch in the past to you, but especially since you brought me back to life, I just, just want to say thank you. We don't use that kind of terminology in my household. Bitch is a really strong word. Well, I used it. So. But I felt that way a couple times, too. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I just want to say that I always have a special place in my heart for you. Always. And the opium thing, like, that's completely normal. My wife, before we used to have one-on-one time, was like, always, Frey, can you get the this, that, and the other drug to just to hang out with me? So that's okay, too. Yeah, that might be something that people need to do sometimes for some certain people, but that's all right. Yeah. I just, I appreciate you and and thanks, thank you. And hopefully going forward, we can be better for, <coughs> sorry, friends. Doga. Friends? I... You wanna be, <laughs> friends? Yeah, and for your birthday, um, me and Harold were kind of ro- roaming around and he saw this shiny thing and it's it's this little ring and it has a mirror on it. I know that you like to do stuff with the sun, so I figured maybe you could use it to like, I don't know, light things on fire or whatever the hell you do with it. Oh my God. This was, this was an absolutely great gift. I love this. And for your birthday, what I got you is actually right here. I have a physical item for you. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> Did this man just either reverse your synergy with the... <laughs> I, I found this and I just said, what better thing to give somebody than a bird call? Harold is absolutely freaking yeah, out Harold, right now. Harold is in a bad way or a good way? In a good way. Oh, this, okay. This item I feel like you guys could have like a communication between each other even when he's not in your hair. Yeah, thank you. Wow. Turn it off. Yeah, it lives there now. <clears throat> Wow, this oh, is awesome. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh. That is actually so cool. I bet the microphones are really loving that. Yep. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but I don't know if Harold ever wanted to like, chime in or something like that. Could... Well, you know, Harold's married, too. <gasps> the Lord. Oh, Lord. Yeah. I would have never known. I yeah. feel so bad. That's why he agreed to come with me is because his wife got taken away, too. So we're hoping if we're together, we can find him together. <gasps> That's sweet. I never thought of you like a like a mobile home for Harold. <laughs> but now it makes so much sense. I mean, we were like all three of us best friends, so it really breaks me up too that they got separated. How do they get it? At what? How do they get it? His wife. I, I don't, well, see, there was this party and I maybe had taken something and possibly fallen asleep. And so there was these like thieves in the night and yeah, they left this flower for me as like a way to kind of find him. But when I went to go tell everybody I was leaving, Harold was freaking out and I realized that his wife wasn't there. So he decided to come with me. If it means anything, he can, I would hate to do this, but like we could ask, oh God, I just never know if she's busy or not, but we can ask about his wife. We could ask my deity, see if she has any ways to get, but I can't do it until I have a, a sleep. Yeah, fun. maybe another time then. That's you right. guys, you guys are getting um, like I think shipped out to the next place in like two days. So if you wanted to just fast forward to the next morning, you could try that. Yeah, first. Sure. Okay. Anyone else have anything they want to do today before we? All right. Um, so you make plans to meet up and, and address your deity, and maybe they can help you. Um, was there something like a particular place you wanted to go, or uh, the place with the best reception? <laughs> the reception desk. That's hilarious. Yeah, so you go to the information slash reception desk. There's one extra bar there for sure. I, <laughs> I pull out the Motorola Razor and I, I hand it to you. I say, so the last time, uh, well, last time I did this, I'm not like used to doing this, but uh, I had, <clears throat> um, I gave it to Shark and he held on to it and that's how he contacted, I think her name was Judge Moody. So hmm, Nice. Yep. All right. Yeah. Next, what does it say? Asking a lot of favors and like a bunch of crying, laughing emojis. <laughs> but check out the lobby, maybe. So to go to the lobby? The birds in the lobby? Potentially. Stewie, have you gone to the library before? Or into the lobby before? I don't think she has. 
I don't think so either. Yeah. All right, so we go to the lobby. You fling open the door and it's absolute chaos in there. Um, Zatchet is wearing like war paint on his face and he's like throwing glass bottles at the people who keep coming down and chopping off his head. He manages to stave off two, but the third person beheads him. He is learning, but slowly. That's not what draws your attention. That's what draws four is. What draws your attention is behind him is a crushed moon lily, like the flower you wear in your hair. Oh my God. Okay, so wait. What does this fucking mean? If it's crushed, does that mean that they're crushed? Is this like a fortune telling place? More like someone stepped on it in the fray. Okay. But what if it was symbolism? Read the book. We would never do that. All right. So, okay, um, she's gonna run up and grab the flower. Give me a dexterity saving throw. Oh, fuck. <laughs> You're, a lot. You're in the lobby now. <laughs> That's a 11. The books are gonna get you. You're gonna take one point of bonk. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> point of bulk. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but you do get to the moon lily. It looks like it's not been placed here. It just looks like it's been discarded or dropped just kind of in the lobby. Um, but because of this, the magic of this place, they, the chaos has ensued. People have burned it and stepped on it. It always comes back to its original form. But you recognize a flower from your home world in this place. Yeah. Uh, particularly, I to remind you of something that you built into your backstory, the way that you and your friends of the forest would communicate was flowers in this way. It mm -hmm. looks like it has been left deliberately like that. Okay. Um, I think she's just gonna show it to Harold and then kind of like hold it and... Mm, should she... She's just gonna leave because she's like a little bit overcome with emotion right now. Okay. Um, Harold Harold acknowledges the emotion and it's kind of reciprocating that yeah. this, this is the first clue you've seen. Mm -hmm. I think we're on the right path, buddy. Do I, I hear this? Am I? Yeah, yeah, I assume you're watching. Yeah. So they can't leave that lobby. Whoever brought that in there is still in there. Okay, so um, can I do an investigation check sure. to see if there's anybody I know? <laughs> I think that there's just too many tears in my eyes. Tell me what, tell me what they look like. Where's Rachel? <laughs> it was a five. <laughs> no, it's just so crazy in there. Yeah. Uh, I will say the other thing is the lobby itself does appear to have more doors that go other places. Uh, based on what they told you, the lobby is a doors. consistent and shifting thing uh, with more space than you were able to immediately see. Anything from Furret? Um, yeah, like, tell me what they look like. Tell me what they look like. What are we looking for? Well, These people. Oh, wait, you, you were knocked out. Yeah, yeah there's a couple people that are missing, but in particular... Petunia, who's Harold's wife. And he looks just like Harold, except kind of purple and pink instead. Ah, that's not good enough for my magic. I can't help with times like this. If only I had a picture or something like that. Some sort of tangible object where I could see Petunia. Yeah, they don't have <sighs> that. Sorry. Some kind of tangible object like a flower? Something like maybe another petal. Does it look like all the petals are on that flower? Maybe like one's in their pocket or something like that? Or do you typically have multiple flowers on you of the same kind. Ah, damn, it's a shame that the lobby always brings things back to their original shape every time so the flower is whole. No, I'm saying like I need to get, yeah. Well, I can't locate a different flower. It's not, yeah, that sucks. Mm -hmm. I can't. There's nothing my blasted magic will do here. God damn it. But I appreciate the thought. Of course. I'll probably come back here some other time. <laughs> so probably a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, but you at least have a direction to go. Uh, anything else for this wonderful scene where 4A just watched you get bonked by books, go in alone, it didn't help you. Uh, other than pointing you in the right direction. I, I mean, there's nothing, it's just a lobby of, uh, yeah, I'm gonna hit J Zatchet. <laughs> okay, Zatchet's head is finally like rolled back to his body and like rolls up and then he like is sitting there. Give me a dexterity saving throw. How are you going to hit him as well? Uh, let me just grab the dice you saw fall on the floor, right? Caleb, no floor dice. Stop doing floor dice. I, I was grabbing it. All right. I'll use this dice anyways. What are you actually doing to hit? Are you gonna run in and like hit him? Hit yes, him? a fucking course. Okay. So take your deck saving throw too. All right. Nat 20. Oh, this For time. The saving throw. This time you're ready and the book goblins go to jump the books and you can I fucking Yeah, you can flip one back up. Like a magazine hits them in the face yeah. and they fall off and they go, ah, and they hit the ground. A 17. Oh yeah, I mean, that just doesn't see it coming. You, Sick. his head is like kind of re, like you can see like the muscle and all that reattaching, and then you just give him like a and, and whack him, and then I want to like a second hit, like sure you can him upwards. Sure, he goes. His head goes flying to the second floor. It's yep. gonna take a while for them to recover. All right, so I run out. Before run I out. leave, can I 
give King of the Road a pat? Is he in there? King of the Road is, thank God, with uh, Shark's mom oh, okay. in not this place. Okay, thank God. <laughs> the better, that's Lobby 2, Tier 2. Lobby 2. That's right. They're, they have the preferential treatment of not being put in the war zone. Perfect. Okay. Like, Next time I see you, Zachary, you better get better at fighting. Okay, let's do it. just going to walk out kind of crying. I, I pull out a handkerchief. Thank that you. That I had. Now. The curator comes by and says, eh, oh, sorry to interrupt, but we're getting ready to go. Yeah, I'm ready. There's no interruptions here. Take this back. I'm ready. <laughs> Ooh. The opium's worn off. I'm pissed. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm just mad. I'm uh, back. I don't mean anything I said. One by one, the curator comes up and rallies you all to get ready to go. Can I can I do something before we go? Yeah, yeah. You would have time during this montage. Um, I want to go see Dee Dee at the armory. Okay. Um, and I am going to ask, inquire about my cool broken sword and if she's fixed it yet. She, um, you go up to like the counter there. Uh, I think they've like installed a little bell and like you can see Dee Dee. She's like way in the back in like row like fifty. She's like looking at something. I'll, I'll ding the bell just like one time. Uh, she <gasps> rubs all the way up. Oh, hello. Um, how, how's my sword coming along? Oh, uh, you know, it's a it's a really nice sword, but it's so broken. <laughs> yeah. Are you going to be able to fix it? With some time, but not yet. I'm so sorry. Okay, thank you. Do you, I actually think... I kind of think, you know, would you just hold on to it for a little bit? I have an idea. Mm. Kind of a crazy one, but it kind of seems like, and she puts it on the desk, and it's like slowly inching towards you. Interesting. Um, yeah, I'll take it and I guess put it in my bag or whatever I have. But, but bring it back after the next one. I have a, I have another idea. But that that's weird, right? It moves. That is weird. Okay. I don't really know what that means. But if you haven't figured it out, we'll, we'll work on it together maybe when you have some more time. Thank you. Okay. Anything else? Okay. Functionally, you guys have a scene where you're going to check out all the new equipment and all that stuff. You all find yourself in the new wing. Freshly unpopulated with a bunch of displays. Um, and in like the corner, the curator has got like a helmet on, like a war helmet. And he says, thank you all for coming recruits. Hey, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Um, hey, there's something really wrong with this place you guys are going to. I know that we did that already with the disease thing. Oh, but there's no divine magic, at least not any good stuff where you're going. You guys will be fine. You have your own connections to um, the people and the, the beings that give you power. But this place that you're going, they don't have positive, no positive magics of any divine nature. So we don't really know what that means, but um, the, the whole balance is wrong. It's very wrong. Well, shit shift, and when I get there, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> be an overload of good magic and happy times. Okay, just as long as it doesn't mean you're going to commit serial murder. That, not my thing. Mm. I think we've established my thing. Yeah. Well, logically, what you said was there's no positive <clears throat> magic, so if we kill the people who are doing the negative magic. No magics. positive divine magics. Okay, there's no problem. And uh, some negative magics have begun to take over now that there's no balance. What do you classify as like negative? Well, like necromancy and you know, like undead esque things, you know, the dark side of this. The dark side of the what? Magics. I don't know. Or you. Show me my pocket. I won't force you to answer. Oh my God, it's not. Oh. You're getting kind of magic. We're here to be forced into anything. Oh, sorry. You said you're getting kind of magic racist. Really glad Shark's not here. Well, it's more of a classroom definition because I could do this too. And he makes fire and he makes undead fire. And you go, Whoa, well, that's cool. the thing. There are, there are people who practice good magics that even dabble in the dark magics for the benefit of those around them. No, it's more of a. It's all just magic. It's all just magic. That's every day. Yeah. Anyway, um. Any questions? I don't really have more info than that, but you guys ready to go? It sounds like it would be needless to ask you questions, so. Yeah, oh, yeah, true. <laughs> Goodbye. No, <laughs> keep riding. You walk through the turn, so. <laughs> uh, I think at one point I knew how to repair things. 
Okay. We're using a spell, but I forgot it. Okay. Anybody need anything repaired before we go? Um, what a weird question to just ask unprovoked. <laughs> I don't meditate. So strange. No, I just, would do that. No, it's just crazy. It's like player knowledge oh, versus character knowledge. I don't know. It's it's like, I don't know if I have Toyota Celica back at home. But <laughs> <laughs> Take us through the fucking turn <laughs> style. <I'm done. laughs> he just walks through. Um, are we getting, like, checking stuff out? Yeah, you guys, we're going to hand wave that scene, but we will do it. Oh, for sure. Yeah, then uh, we'll follow. Cool. And, um, I'm going to go in too. One by one. And um, assuming the rest of you follow, let's go to Oliver. Wahoo! Wahoo! And I'm going to produce the scene. You all step out and you hear like metallic footsteps as you kind of step through the turnstile and appear in what appears to be a small boat at the top of this map. <laughs> uh, Shark is also there, even though he's not reflected currently. I I recognize that scene. I am I trying also to recognize, recognize that scene. But you're not getting did you in? post it in the open chat? It's the same link we've yeah. used for 13 I, games. Okay, I usually... I <laughs> Maybe 14 or 15. Please don't yell at me, Dad. I'm sorry. <laughs> saving private rooms. So, <laughs> so, so when we just recorded Vibe Check, was I, I was spot on. You were spot on. <laughs> it was so funny, actually. <laughs> you guys are in this boat. Um, you might even call it a lander. And as you guys are looking out, you can see this large black cliff and this black obsidian sand, purple water, and there are indeed people charging in up to kind of get to this point. At the top of the cliff, you can see what appear to be like bone-based ballistas, and they're running into what looks like hordes of the undead. Hey, I know some of those guys. <laughs> what do you do? Uh, well, there's certainly necromancing over there. There's, <sighs> what kind of boat is this? Is it flat? It's just like it looks like a, a, a look back, I look back behind me and I see the good boats. No, 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 there's walls on three sides of you. When I look back behind me into the ocean, there's walls. Yeah, yeah. So this walls. boat is basically a box. You're in a metal box. There's no like it goes over your head. Is it open? Have we like the landed? front is open? Okay. There's like a little lander there. So well, those black places are cliffs. Mm -hmm. okay. Looks like we got the shit under the shape. We're part of an amphibious assault. <laughs> Forey steps off the boat and you hear a loud metallic click. And then the sound of energy rising and that's where we're leaving. <laughs> <It's> beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> he does it again.